Hello and welcome to the Intel Creator Challenge Finals. I'm Anna Prosser, so delighted to be here with my co-host Roby Tech. What is up? I am so excited for an event like this where uh, we get to celebrate everything 12th gen plus awesome PC builds. You're wondering how we got here, what we're doing here. This is the finals of a creator competition. So all of the creators here have been through a rigorous four weeks of competition, which we'll talk a little bit about later, but now they're paired up with PC modders. They're working on building these custom modded PCs that are going to be just amazing. And at the end of today, there will be one that will be judged the best. We got Lancelot Dev with uh, Liquid House. Liquid House, uh, much more of an industrial style in terms of what it is. You can see already just the incredibly large build off to uh, their side there that they're gonna basically be building. Then we move over to Aprize who's working with Blue Horse Studios. Um, he's, uh, he's more model-esque, a lot of attention to details, a lot of prefab, so uh, I'm really uh, excited to see what comes out of that build. And then you've got Mods by Ben, which like every one of them is like picturesque, like a work of art. I mean, Ma, uh, Ben actually did a build for iJustine and here he's, he's paired with Rogue, uh, who's Apex, and you can see already uh, just the, the pristine nature of his case just there. And then finally we got five up with PC Works or Tim, who uh, is kind of like a, a hybrid of all of them, um, but uh, I heard uh, Porsche paint involved and some other things. So we got some we got some exciting stuff going on from there. Now we're going to head over and talk to a pre right, so and our friend this? from Blue Horse Studios, Ron. Welcome, hello. Hey. How are you guys doing here, today? Great, all right, now uh, give us give us a preview. What's going on over here? So we just got our motherboard laid out here. We have Asus's uh, new gen hardware uh, with the Maximus Extreme uh, uh, Z690 motherboard, and of course Intel's new 12th generation processor. So we're just getting ready, thing, getting things ready to get mocked up and uh, get the, some of the components installed. And uh, yeah, we're really excited about getting this going and uh, showing everybody what we created for a prise today. Motherboard. There you go. There, there you go. Very nice. Little, All right, okay. here I come. Right there. Okay. All right, here we go. That's a nice looking washer you have there, though. Yeah, a little color match. Yeah. All right, let me get the other side here, and then we can let that go. Bit. Can you guys see these washers in here? They're pink. If you had to compare it to like DDR4, like the best of the DDR4, would it be like twice as good or like oh, yeah, something better, than, like way better than that even? Yeah, because there's some frequencies also there for DDR5 is going to be much higher than that. So I'm pretty Higher excited. the frequency, like the more power? Yeah. Well, there you go. Give us a little rundown. Uh, so this is actually an Inwin uh, 925 case. Uh, Inwin was uh, generous enough to send this over for this uh, project with Intel. Um, it is custom painted in a Porsche uh, pink metallic color. Um, and then I have a water jet CNC um, backplate that's uh, chromed in uh, nickel. Yeah. So this is basically a sports car. <laughs> yeah, it's a sports car. <laughs> I It'll love go it. fast. A little wiggle in there. There you go. Now, All right. you're going to swing in those fittings. Now get everyone. Yep. This one's going to go here. Yep. Should be relatively right. easy to start those threads. Yeah, that just went straight in. Yep. But like, whew, this thing's a unit. Can I show this? Yeah, go ahead. You guys want to see this chat? I don't want to break it, but like, can you see it? This is a part. Hope you can see it. Okay, they put the camera on it. I'm like, look at this. This is a trick that a carpenter showed me. Because he saw what I he was watching one of my streams before, and he was like, Ben, why are you doing it the old school way? It's like, there's certain brackets they sell this where you can actually chamfer the edge. And he saw my stream, he, showed, he shared that with me, and I was pretty excited that That's cool. it was a good tip. Does it make noise? Yeah, it does make noise, so be aware if you guys have headphones on, it is pretty loud. Turn it down. But I'm going <laughs> to come back, so. Oh, Jesus. That's lining for you. <laughs> <laughs> and we're lining up. All so right. We're good. So um, it might be easier is to hold it like this, and then just push it down. When you All lose. right. We will get this one. I did. Yeah, go. we did it. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. So is this going to be your main gaming PC now? So uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for oh. sure. I'm scared. Like, I need to find a way to put it though. Like, I kind of want to put it so like stream can see it, because like this is like this is like art chat. So what he's doing is actually putting in a tube bender, and there's a notch on the far corner that will hold the tube in place. So why he actually puts resistance, or actually put the tube in its proper position. So just hold that side. So okay. can I grab this? 
Let me so it back. is, since it's plated, so it has some retention to it, so you can pick it up with whatever you need to do. To... Whoa! This is Bring so it to a 90. Cool. 90? Yeah. So satisfying. Right there. That's good to go. Let it go and be aware this is these are nickel plated tubes of which you're not supposed to do this. Uh -huh. You know, but I found a way to figure this technique out. We are cutting up doing. yeah, we're cutting up pipe right now for the piece. We haven't <laughs> measured you. out. This uh, is my first time doing this. Yeah, and so make sure you tighten it again. Yep. And now it is I'm gonna untighten it slightly. I'm over. just watching this because this is I like I you know again this is I, I love the uh, I loved your commentaries like look I just don't want this to pop off and break it. Look at that. <laughs> we got it! We <laughs> have achieved go. so much. That was so rad. Yes. So you asked if there is lights. Yes, there's lights. So You'll see yeah, go that. ahead and plug oh that in there. God. Oops, wrong way. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. So right now he actually put in the cooling in, so we're waiting until it fills this small reservoir, and then after that we're actually going to turn on the computer. So the pump actually turns on, and then it'll cycle through. We might have to do this multiple times, so we know where the, the computer is actually fully filled. Oh boy. Oh, you already have the tubing attached to that also. Yeah, this one at least. I'm gonna see if I can do it this way, but I might have to turn the case around. Gotcha. Oh, that's so sick! Oh, oh my God. Is this the camera? Now we are taking one final look at each of the builds. Okay. We can see them all in their glory. Lancelot Dev 92 Liquid House, Aprise and Blue Horse Studios. Okay. Rogue and mods by Ben. I'm hoping that I'm hoping that. And five up and PC works. I actually know who the winner is. The winner of the Intel Creator Challenge finale, taking home ten thousand dollars, is mods by Ben. Yay! Congratulations to mods by Ben, to Rogue, and to Rogue's girlfriend. Honestly. Yeah, I mean she's a real winner. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, Ben. I'm sure that you will have lots to say about this amazing build that you did, but. From our perspective, just one that actually would look great in both of our offices we talked about. Yes, yes. I think that the the colors that we saw coming through there, super uh, beautiful, soft, and oh, here they come. Oh, here we go, we wow. To, get he's to getting, them. We're actually getting, he's like doing like the, that walk, right? Like you've the seen somebody walk, with the e yes. eSport e and like here we are, the champion walk. And this one, a mod champion walk. Come on in, you guys. And I think we're gonna need to hand you a microphone yeah. so we can hear what you have to say. Otherwise, you know, only yeah. we will hear you. Yeah, well, well, yeah, so we'll see where this is going from here. But there it is, right there, guys. The winners uh, of the uh, the creator. Oh, and here we go. Oh, yes. Ah. Look at this. Nice. Oh, so come on, I've that. always wanted to do one of these. Well, come in close so we can chat with you guys. Yeah. Maybe that you can yeah. hear us on your mics. But uh, Ben, how does this feel to be the winner of the Intel Creator Challenge? It's, I'm pretty grateful. You know, it's like I, I didn't expect to win anything. I just wanted to get the job done. Uh, but it's, I'm grateful that I can actually express my art. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm pretty excited, you know, it's I'm lost for words, basically. I'm sure that there are a lot of PC modders who are watching this and looking at you with aspirations of someday making a build like that or getting to this level. What would you say to them? I would just say, just keep trying. Mm -hmm. You know, no matter, there's a lot of upsets, you know, which I think you learn from your upsets. As an artist, you know, there's gonna be critiques, there's gonna be failures. Uh, but this never stop giving up on what you truly love to do. You guys are all amazing at Tuck Tuck. Oh, do you want to Tuck Tuck everyone with me? So Tuck Tuck means goodbye basically in my stream. Someone asked to be tucked in once because it was like late at night and I was sure, ending sure. stream. All right, so you can just read a name and just tuck them in. So just read a name and Tuck Tuck. Jennifer, Tuck Tuck. Tuck Tuck, Jennifer. Tuck Tuck Alma. Tuck Tuck Millionaire. Tuck Tuck Queen. Tuck Tuck JJ Foxy. Tuck Tuck Thanks, Little guys. Mama. Tuck Tuck Alma. Tuck, tuck. Wait, it's probably Kelly. What is up, guys? Welcome to season two of Intel Mod Mondays, and we are kicking it off with Tuner. Uh, just so you guys know, I, I want to I give you a heads up. So I, I've, I've actually been following Tuner now for a number of weeks. Uh, tried to see him at the, at the airport. Uh, he just ignored me. Uh, then I tried to sit next to him on the air, at the airplane, and then he just he left me. Uh, and then, uh, so I'm just saying, like, there, we already have a chip on our shoulders about this whole thing because he's so cool, and apparently I'm not cool enough to hang out with him. Now, now do you want to do you want to try that again with the truth? 
<laughs> this guy dodged me at the airport and then auto bumped his seat so that we didn't even sit next to each other. He was like, actually, so it's funny, like um, the first time, and I met you is, a, is such a interesting term uh, because I did, you were in my chat. Like, so you came in and you're like, hey, I'm so excited to build a PC. And I was like, oh, you're on the next, like you're on the next Mod Monday. I, I had like literally no idea that um, it was from there. And then uh, just, I, I, wanna, I wanna let people know, like this should give you an idea about tuner in general. <laughs> Tell me about your prep for coming on the show today. So to prep, as you guys know, I'm a, I'm a bit of a overthinker. Um, I watched 12 hours worth of old VODs for Mod Mondays. I'm sorry. I, I watched a bunch of your standalone videos of you just doing builds. I'm sorry. And then I also watched a stream and I paid him <laughs> for the pleasure. <laughs> and, and not only, I, I did one sub, he didn't say anything. So I did five gifted subs, and he finally noticed me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny, because Evo Cyber Nation, so many people. Anyway, guys, super stoked. Uh, and I think, honestly, I, I don't, now that I've gotten to, to get to know you, I can't think of a better person to, to kick off season two with. I'm actually really excited. Um, for so many people who don't know who you are, though, mm -hmm. why don't you tell us a little bit about like, kind of how you got here, what you do, who is your daddy, what does he do, that sort of thing. Uh, it's a kindergarten cop, right? Like, it's family friendly, you know? So yeah. Uh, so I am a Monster Hunter streamer, so I'm glad to be here representing Capcom and Monster Hunter. Uh, I've also played other random games, but Monster Hunter, I think, is definitely where my home is. And uh, I started my channel with uh, my friend Jinx, and uh, we've been at this for a little over three years now, full-time streamer. Um, and I just love helping out new members of the community. You guys might have catched me in the uh, Intel Plays Monster Hunter, where I was with uh, a few other people and kind of helped them with their hunts. And uh, that's kind of what my channel is all about, is helping people get better at the game. OK. So if you have been following me for a long time, uh, you know that myself and Jess Corden have literally played hundreds and hundreds of hours of Monster Hunter and uh, loved hunting the Puke Puke and the Basil Geist. And, you know, we basically, uh, you know, the finished, we, I think we stopped playing when Iceborne came out. Like, we ended up playing, like, after Iceborne, played for about a couple weeks. Um, but super excited because we're playing the new one, mm -hmm. which it's, 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 for me, it's like, it's one that I wanted to get into, mm -hmm. but I was just, like, never had a chance. So I'm actually a little nervous because after we build this, like, then I'm going to be like, dang it, now I'm playing this game all the time again. Um, and, you know, like people like Cole Martin, so many of these people who, uh, who have uh, been there. But I, I, it's a reason, it's the reason I call it Basil Geist is because it sounds like Edelweiss from Sound of Music. So every time we saw Basil Geist, we'd be like, Basil Geist, Basil Geist. And we just have a whole song about it. So anyway, if I'm saying the name wrong, I don't care. It was I, great for the song. I heard you doing that before. And I thought you were going for a basil guys, basil guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Does yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. No, a basil guys. No, 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 sorry. I'm 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 a little bit more refined. You know, mine's from the sound of music, not not uh, you know, yes, but uh, still regardless. So really excited to get to do that today. So today, just to walk you guys through the kind of the uh, the um, the the our order of operations, we're gonna be building him a rad PC. It's got some Monster Hunter Rise touches to it. We got a custom backplate, an AIO cover. He's actually really excited about it because he, he finally got to see it. Uh, then from there, we're gonna, we're gonna transfer over and play some Monster Hunter. Uh, I have never played this version. I am playing on some stranger's account. Apparently, they just paid some guy on the street some random money and said, hey, let's just use his account. So I don't know what state it's in. I don't know if we're wearing, like, Colterath, like the lingerie street stuff. I don't know what I'm wearing. Uh, but point being is that uh, it should be super rad, and I'm super excited. It's going to be a great episode. Um, PC building, you are not new to this. No. No. I've, uh, I've built one computer uh, about three years ago. It's... Actually, this might be the three-year anniversary of building that computer, and uh, it was an i5 uh, 20. Uh, sorry, i5 9600K um, and a 2080, and uh, it's I, it's still in really good condition. I need to probably reapply thermal paste if I'm going to keep using it. Okay, but you don't have to. You know, you won't have to worry about it because, like, we're gonna we're gonna put. Now, I know people are saying, by the way, Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I want to show you the <laughs> coolest thing. This is handcrafted. <laughs> this is Valentine's Chippy. Is this not the coolest? I mean, like, come on. This is awesome. 
Like, so this was handmade. There it is right there. Uh, look at that thing. That I know, people are like freaking out in chat already. <laughs> uh, I am, uh, so this was, I'm, I'm already trying to commission this because I need this for my set. I know that you probably need it for your set, but yours, oh, would, yeah. yours would have like a pookie pookie on it or something. <laughs> uh, but uh, point is, this is, uh, this is super, super awesome. Really excited to do this. And so this was a celebration of uh, Valentine's Day. So anyway, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, if, you're sang if you're single and you're not celebrating, Happy Monday. Uh, <laughs> so going from there. So there it is right there, but pretty excited about this. Now let's start talking about parts we're going to put inside of your PC okay. today because it's a pretty significant upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. I think so. Okay, so first and foremost, of course, we're going to use the Core i9-12900K. Uh, this is the flagship CPU from Intel. Reviews are fantastic. Uh, pretty much the top of the top in terms of overall CPU, uh, overall power. You've got those P cores. You've got those E cores. Running Windows 11, it's got Thread Director. There's a ton of things that you get as a benefit for this. And the other thing too is you also you also get um, uh, you also get the uh, super awesome um, basically just. But the good thing is is that I know you and I were talking. You know, we're both kind of we're, we're getting into the physical fitness thing. You could totally use that for some like some some <laughs> like some sumo squats and stuff like that. You know, basically doing your tri curls and things. So all in all, uh, if you don't know, there will also be a tuner exercise channel that will be launching after this, where he will be showing you how to work out better with your PC. So yeah, there's lots of stuff going from there, uh, going with that. Yeah, and, and good. I'm glad. Tuner's mom is also going to be part of that whole fitness thing as well. So the two of them together, it's going to be a family think it's going to be absolutely awesome <laughs> okay and by the way there are giveaways there are giveaways I've just been told via the the secret voices that we do have giveaways today first code is tuner okay you have you ever been a code before uh no okay well there you are first time first code tuner there it is right there we're giving away 12th gen Intel Core i5s to celebrate your first PC but this is a 12th gen so 12 uh, uh 12 600ks <laughs> or something like that uh we got the 12th gen Core i7 so there's your 12 700ks we got two of those we've got a V1 Tech custom backplate um so which are super cool and then we've got these V1 Tech pex plexiglass wall arts I'm going to show these off a little bit later they're super cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I've never seen like a backplate in person or any of these kind of accessories. They're just really neat. Yeah. And I can't wait to show off the one that we got yeah. from the Moss Center. Oh, dude, it looks so it looks so good. It lights up. It's got RGB. Yeah. So it, it, all in all, <laughs> your performance is going to drop by 10 bajillion frames anytime you add RGB. Now, is there a specific performance increase when you have it set to rainbow, or does a specific color have a higher? Yes. It's, it's all about specific colors. And this is very important for okay. you to know. Red is fast. Blue is cool. White makes no point. Outside of that, the only two colors you really need to care about is red and blue. So that, there it is from there. So just as an FYI, there, there's probably some other functions, but all in all, red is faster, and everybody knows that. RGB equals more, more faster. A lot of people paying it in there. Okay. Okay. So there it is right there. Let us get started. But any, any questions, anything? Have I, have I done a good job getting you introed? Uh, now, I, I do have a question. Is, <laughs> is there... Is there I mean, can I use this for like hockey later? Oh yeah, dude, is this <laughs> not rad? I mean, again, yeah. The, the, so uh, you know, huge, huge kudos to Intel um, just for uh, their A plus game when it comes to uh, their packaging. So this is actually a uh, this is actually what a wafer looks like okay. when it basically prints off of. Wait, the, really? Yeah, this is exactly. And so each one of these is an individual uh, core chip that you they basically print inside. But yeah, they come in a really cool wafer. You ever want to see something interesting? Watching how CPUs are made is actually like that. We, I don't know if you, how is it made shows, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty crazy watching that stuff. But that's what that is in the center was a wafer. So okay. there you go. But that's a good question. I liked your question. <laughs> you get an A plus. There you go. So Ooh. far he's getting an A. And that was a, that was a that was solid a good. That was a solid hit. Is that uh, going to be any indication of the clicks later? No, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> uh, let's see if we, we do not have a, let's see if we get a, I'm just going to try and open this with uh, my iFixit kit because that'll work too. And we'll get a, oh, the iFixit kit is right here. Okay, cool. Let's use this because I fix it. You can do anything. So we're gonna use this little, sh this little sharper one, and then we're gonna open this up. If you want to grab the motherboard, you are familiar. Okay, so this one, right? Yep. Oh, come on, <laughs> come, on. come on. He's playing. Everybody knows that you've built a PC before, but I like, I like the charm. I like the, uh, I like keeping me on my toes. 
I mean, you were you were just ready to commit to it before you even saw it. You trusted me. Oh, I do. I do trust you. <laughs> I do. Uh, you, I mean, you, I don't know. You seem like a you seem like a pretty and given that you've watched as much prep as I, you may have actually built more PCs than I have at this point. I'm, in time. Do you need you need? Yeah, a, I'm gonna need, need a, need a unless we just rip it off. I'm see. I'm the kind of guy at Christmas when people hand me their presents, I individually take off each piece of tape and then like fold the paper nicely. Oh, not yet. That's not that's not who I am. I'm, I'm like one of the, I like to actually I like to I, I like to do it like kind of nicely. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so there we go. We're open for business right now. Okay, so there is your motherboard. Uh, where should I place boxes? Uh, well, let's place let's place a vast heat back here. So this is where we're going to stick all your extra stuff. Okay. Well, let's keep the box. We're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little extra thing out of it here. Okay. Because we're going to need all this room for all the extra stuff that kind of comes with it. Okay. Okay, there we go. Just set that down nicely over there. Cool. Okay, you you open it. You you guys are getting the bag ASMR right now. I I'd, I'd love to know from chat, guys. Chat, where are you at? Are you like a rip and tear? I see some people saying rip and tear. Are you more of a open and like enjoy the whole unboxing or unwrapping uh, at Christmas uh, or at thanks or at <laughs> Thanksgiving or at Valentine's Day are you Ooh. like one of the, like what what are you doing today uh, when you're opening your gifts people get gifts for Valentine's Day right caught a sharp, know, a sharp corner oh did you tore oh, open the bag oh is it we're gonna have to rip and tear yeah no he's like he's like all broken hearted there well you know it, when you don't get a lot of presents, you savor the ones that you get. Yeah, that's right. And that's actually, it's funny, because that's what Blondie just said. Savor every moment. Do we need, we, apparently we need to get you more presents. Is that, is that what you're saying? Is that your hint? It's like, Roby, uh, now that we're friends and you have ignored me at the, uh, the uh, now that you, I have ignored you, to be clear, now that I have ignored you, you're going to be like, you owe me more presents at Christmas, Roby. <laughs> sure. That's how we'll go. I expect to see a, a holiday holiday themed chippy. Oh, dude, I... I hope so. I mean, after that super rad <laughs> Valentine's one. Okay, sir, I will let you do the honors. Oh, this is. Isn't that cool? Wow. That's really nice. Is it twist or yeah, polar? Twist. Okay. Yeah, just be careful because there is a chip inside of it. Oh, wow. look at that. There it is. That beautiful 12900K. What do you think? I mean, it's very small. It is very, yeah. With, compared to the packaging, right? Like, it's like. I know, yeah, like, with, I mean. As big as that is, and I mean, I know how small it should yeah. be, but just it's a lot of box. It is a lot. It is, it is a lot of box. But they want you to have a good experience when you open it. So uh, apparently, I'm, there we go. Okay, got it back <laughs> open. I'm gonna make sure that you get to take this home so you can play your hockey with it or whatever you're gonna do with it later on. I didn't know. Are you a big hockey fan? No. No. I just I didn't I didn't I didn't get that impression. <laughs> but I was like, ah, oh, maybe you know people can surprise you. Um, okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna install this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push this out and then lift up. It's it's very similar to the one that you've done before. There you go, and lift it all the way, and then this will pop open. You'll just pull that up afterwards. There you go. Okay. Cool. So socket is available. Now you're gonna you've done this, but take it out. <laughs> So set it in nicely. I, I just, I just assume. I never assume, right? Like some people, it's like it's been three years. It's been a hot minute. Now, hold on. What, what? angle are we going? This one. So into... yeah. Yep. And it's, it's not actually possible to put it in upside down because of these divots. But mm -hmm. the corners are actually right there. So you're just gonna put it in just light, nicely. There you go. Oh, nice, nice wiggle. I like it. I like you it. Make sure. You, you got to make sure for sure. Okay. Go ahead and. Uh, Close that up. Now, here's the fun part. Different for 12th gen. Okay. So you're going to okay, push no. from this corner, and then we're going to see how high. It's like, guys, get ready. It's going to jump. Okay. okay, I'm going to try to get out of the way just yep. in case. Go it's got my safe. We both got our safety glasses Yeah, we got on. our safety glasses on. Ooh. Oh, it cleared it. Woo! Whoa, that's a first. It's like, gone. guys, it's like, that is like basically <laughs> CPU, CPU Olympics for it to like actually clear the VRM all up, right? <laughs> That was a solid jump, right? It's a perfect 10. So that's, I, I've never seen that. That's actually the first time we've done a, quite a few of these builds. Okay, so you're, yep, and then you're just gonna push that down and slip it right under. Man. And always feel really nervous that it's way too tense. Oh yeah, it is pretty, yeah. It, dude, it, isn't that, it's, I don't think a lot of people understand just how much pressure you have to push when you do that. Okay guys, our favorite time is here. Oof, clicks of RAM. Okay. You know what I you know what you know what I should do from now on when we do this is I should make sure that I bring the click meter because I didn't bring it this time. Oh, I'm sorry. I failed you. Just like I failed you so much already before even meeting you. <laughs> Have you ever gotten to 110? No, so but we did do so uh, when we so height came and we did a Y60 mm -hmm. and we were doing the rubber with with medical gloves because we built a fish tank. Okay. And then I clicked that and it was 112 and it hurt. I bet. Oh, it hurt. 
So yeah, I have had I have had click pain for sure. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's get this, cut this one open. Use our little even. This is like I I, I don't think people knew that even with an iFixit you could open open the even your packaging with it. <laughs> iFixit lets you do anything. There you go. Okay, sir, I will let you open that up. Enjoy your process. Yeah, Ooh. it's a Mobo. Oh yes, uh, Cosmic Jordan. We're currently working on a potential. Uh, we're cur currently working on a uh, potential trademark for the uh, motherboard uh, cover Olympics. What is the name? Does anybody know the official name for that stuff? I don't know what, uh, like what that thing is called. Plate, plate jumping. Plate jumping. There we go. CPU plate jumping. It's a thing. CPJ for short, because yes. you always have, you have to have a three-letter acronym. Okay, that so, is fancy. Yeah, it's it's our it's their it's their beautiful uh, Vengeance RGB Pro. So we're going to put it here and here. Okay. 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 So remember the double thumb method. Do you remember the double thumb method? Yes. Oh, he's like he's like why am I why are you even here, Roby? Oh no no backwards. Oh, I have it backwards. Well, that see that's why you're here, Roby. There you go. Okay, cool. Okay. I'm, I'm going to drive. I'm going to try. Okay. You push it down a little bit though. So okay. It's like ready to get. Oh, ooh, ooh. there you go. Okay, now. Okay, here we go. Right, quiet on set. Troy, shh. Oh, it was still good. Okay, so that was a good one. I did, did anybody hear that? Did we get to vote? People seemed to hear that, right, okay. It wasn't, it wasn't the best. It was okay. It was, it was a little mushy, but we can try it again. You got a, you got a second chance. Okay. You got the label in the right place. Yeah, everything looks good. Just give it a push, just give it a, yeah, there you go. Okay, okay. Okay, one more time. Oh, that, that was, was better. That was better. Still a but little it was mushy. Too with the, it's, yeah, it's like it's hard with the. But you know what? All in all, you have like, way more practice than I do. But the, truth be told, like I am super proud of you for just jumping in there and going. Like all in all, that's great, man. <laughs> Most of the time, people are like, ah, did I put enough pressure? All that sort of stuff. Good clicks. By the way, guys, can we get a? Can we give a uh, like uh, some some hype in the chat for how well uh, <laughs> Tuner is just basically jumping in on this build because it's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. Do you know the Monster Hunter Flex? What is the Monster Hunter Flex? No. So, you were telling me all these other things that I don't think are real. Like the... In old Monster Hunter, okay. when you drank a potion, you had to stand still, drink the whole thing, and then your character would flex. Oh. So it give was... me a Monster Hunter Flex. A Monster Hunter Flex. Okay. I'm going to do a Monster Hunter Flex, but I don't have a potion. But anyways, so... it was like, it's all in all. So I drink the whole potion, so I'm like okay. this, and then I go, then I go like this. There we go. got to pump it a little that harder, was a go... man. There you go. That's right, because it's like over the top when he does. Oh, like, yeah, yeah no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. crazy. There it is, Monster Hunter Flex right there. Do you do that after like every time you kill, <laughs> like uh, you know, like you're doing like a Rathalos or anything like that? Uh, if if the time is perhaps very good, I could maybe get some excitement out of me. Okay. But... Are you like? Are you like? So, okay. So actually, I'm asking the right. I'm asking the wrong folks. Oh. Oh yes, please. Oh God. Yes. Oh, a potion. A potion. We actually, wait, where did you wait, get this? This is great. Then, okay, let me just, I, shout out to the Bento team who like happens to have like a potion. Like it's like, oh, hey, let's Feel get that. this That's stuff. That's so soft. That is so soft. And this is, what are the names of those, the, the your little creatures that follow you? Uh, feline. Feline. Feline? I'm never quite sure if it's feline or feline. Is that what they were called? Okay, so anyway, the, the little, but it's got the little. Or palicos. Pod. That's the right term. Thank you. So palico, okay. So your palico, this is like you've got your little palico paw on it. But there we go. So there we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, your turn. Okay. Okay, here we go. Who did it better? You guys got it. You got it. Yeah, the cat people there. <laughs> oh, he like he actually did like the gun gun gun. Okay. Wow. You you've played way more than I have. So that was actually pretty awesome though. Uh, okay. So we got your ram in. We got your uh, your build's done. Okay, cool. Anyway, right. guys, let's go play. Um, <laughs> Tuner did it better. I, I completely agree. Um, okay, let's check on your AIO. What we need to do to just make sure we got a we got for your um, oh we got your NVMe. That's what we did wrong. <laughs> I knew there was something we were something we were. Now, missing. are you sure it's not your first time building a computer? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've never done this before <laughs> in my life, and where we should be very afraid <laughs> um, of what's actually going to happen here. Um, what is the worst thing that has ever happened on this show? On this show? On this, on uh, Mod Monday. Oh, I think, okay, so it's not the worst thing, but it was the funniest thing to me. Mm -hmm. So Jackie Jing, who's absolutely amazing, comes on the show, and so we're putting together the PC, and she's like 6'3", so she's tall, like she's tall, and she goes, she holds up a piece above me, and she goes, come on, Roby, jump and get it, and I was like, <laughs> wow, and I had never felt so small. So I think like that was like, the, like of the moments of going there, I'm just like, oh, 
Um, but I, and then the other one is that, uh, so we had tech tone mm -hmm. and uh, we were doing the thing and I ended up like pulling something off that wasn't actually supposed to and like a part <laughs> of it broke. But like it ended up being absolutely fine when it was all said and done. But yeah, I think those are probably the two that I remember the most. Um, uh, so she was, she was, I think she might be taller than 6'3". She might be, okay, listen, Tom, I know Tom's, <laughs> Tom's like 6'6 six, six or something like that. That's just not human. Uh, but uh, yeah, he was, like, she just did that. And I was we, like, we've progressed past the word tall to toll. Toll? Oh, toll. is that? Is very, that... very toll. Very toll, okay. Yes, yeah, so it's like when something is very small and it goes past small into small. I, I did, is this a thing? Yes, it, it's the opposite of small, it's toll. Okay, toll, okay. Everybody knows. Here's your small. Everybody in your community. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Okay, everybody knows. Sorry. I'm t oh, so I am. What am I? Overage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you're when you're so average that you become overage. I'm overage. Okay. I'm overage. Okay. Small, tall, and overage. <laughs> Okay, um, go ahead and pull off these two. Do you, do you, your other board does have an NVMe, right? Yeah, you do. Yes. yes, it does. So you're, 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 this is nothing new to you in this regards. And I believe those are attached. Yeah, they should be captive, yeah. Look at that. Okay, and so we get these cool little Q-latch things here. Okay. So we're just, we don't even, actually even need the small screws for this, which is actually pretty cool. Do I need to do anything with this? You're back? gonna peel. Okay. So we're, here we go, guys. Prepare for peeling. I mean, I don't think there's any way they'd be able to hear this peel. Uh, no, not that one. But when we get to the one at the very end, it will definitely hear that peel. And they... I heard a little bit of noise from it, but... Okay, let me grab this from you. Trying to make my little pile of garbage over here. Okay, so, um, so for this one, all you got to do is there's a little slot in the PCB. You're just going to stick that in right there. And then this little thing rotates around it. Okay. So there's no screw, which is, what you're, which is what you're used to, guys. It's a little ease of use thing. Oh, look at that, pro. Now uh, <laughs> put the cover on. There. I assume the words are yeah. in the correct you know, orientation. You know they added that? What, Because really? people used to not know what direction it went? Well, the only other reason, the only other way that I would know if they didn't have the words is that these lines go this direction and go right across that to create that's, a... Uh, that's a good catch. The only other thing is that one screw, these screws are actually a uh, single, uh, they, they only fit in one hole as well. So you would have been wrong, but I mean the other, I mean, sorry, you would have been wrong if you were trying to put it in wrong. You'd be like, why is this not catching? But that was the other thing they did. But I, <laughs> this, this was the biggest thing. It's like, yes, please write on it so we know which direction it goes. Yeah. So, which is thank you, thank you, Asus. That's that's our point. Thank you, thank you very much, Asus, for doing that. Um, okay, now it's time to put the bracket on the AIO. It's time to put the bracket on the. That AIO. is a big. Yes, but you got a big <laughs> CPU, so you got to cool it, and it's got to be quality. So, um, yes, thank you. Yes, the design team, the Q latch. Uh, there's just so much stuff that they do on their boards that just make it um, just nice uh, quality of life stuff. Okay, so here it is, your really big board. I mean, your really big free. Oh, I was like, what is this? Oh, it's Amazon. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Free listening. Okay, there it is. Okay, let's get our little opener here. I mean, if you turn it up high enough, you will be listening to yes, it. Yes, that is true. And we will be top mounting our AIO guys, so uh, that's, that's the plan. We have plenty of room in that case for anything like that. Now, is there really a benefit or like a difference between top versus front mounting an AIO? Yes, there can, it's specifically, a, and really, if you front mount an AIO, then obviously the airflow, the airflow through the front makes a really big difference, right? So like if you have, like in the Helios case, you have a glass front panel there, and mm -hmm. so it's not gonna get as much air versus when we're gonna top mount, because it's all it is, this is basically just mesh. Mm -hmm. It can pull a lot, a lot more air through, which is gonna do a better job of cooling. Okay. It makes, you know, simple science stuff, right? Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, and then the, yeah, and then there's some other benefits and stuff like that, because the other thing too is when you front mount an AIO, uh, because you're having air pass through a radiator, it's actually restricting the amount of air that's going to a GPU. So there's a bunch of stuff like that okay. that actually can, can make a difference. So, we, to so top is basically the preferred. That's usually the preferred, right? And, uh, uh, and we've done a bunch of thermal testing for that. I mean, some people would say that we didn't, but we have numbers, so we show that all, uh, from there. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the gist. I'll Here's all me. our stuff. That it? This is everything. So we're not putting anything else on it. Oh no, we just got to. We, now we just got to take it out and figure out where it goes, dude. It's no, we're not. We're not done. <laughs> but we, I just at least I found we, we it. You said this was everything. I said, well, I think I'm, we're missing a couple of things in that bag. 
I mean, I mean, this is everything for the uh, for the for the mounting. That's oh. a good point. Good good way to call that out. <laughs> that's that's a good call. Good call. Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's, that's that's I like it. I like it. Keeping me on my toes. I was like, wait, what? I don't understand. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do here is did you, now you mounted an AIO in your super small H two hundred case. Mm, um, yeah, that was a that was an experience. I had to rotate a couple times. Like you rotated? I had because you can move the case around, you know. So <laughs> my AIO, obviously, you know, yeah. in a perfect world, that would the logo would everything be right. Yeah. I actually had to rotate it because oh. the cables wouldn't go, so I had to kind of curve them. Yeah, and so <laughs> that was three years ago. Back in the day, I mean, now you, AIOs, you can just rotate you, like in whatever direction, and then you're able to actually move the yeah. the thing itself, which is actually kind of nice. Okay, so this is going to go through these four holes, and you want it to try and we should be able to get them on the outside holes. No. Uh, Other. So we're going to lift up. So I'm going to lift up the board. We're going to we're going to okay. we're going to tag team, guys. Ooh. Look at this. We're going to tag team here. Why not? Let's do it. It's never been done here on the show. We've never. Oh wait, that's not true. Okay. So you, I'm gonna hold this up like this, and you want to get these into these holes. Now you want to be on, you want to try and get them in the far hole. So the, all the way outside. On the outside, yeah. So you're gonna kind of move the. Um, those things are movable. The little outside latches. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's that looks. Me. I think you're good. There we go. Cool. It's done. Great. So there we are. LGA 1700 installed. Now we get to screw in these little screws. And I think you can handle. You can handle this. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Now, is there? I actually do have a question. Okay. Is there? One thing I'm not ever sure of is how tight things should be in okay. the case. Okay. Yep. If you're not breaking a motherboard, you haven't done it tight enough. I'm, I'm used. That's I'm used to uh, having like a a wrench for that. Yep. No. Everything in a everything in a PC like outside of maybe some everything in a PC should just go until it kind of just barely stops and then you're good. Is there a side? Nope, okay. no, they're both, so you're just gonna put them in each one of the corners. I don't know, great, great question though. And uh, you know, uh, it's a similar question, anybody from within, uh, within the stream have questions similar to that? Again, we're always trying to pay attention to chat as well. Um, I see a lot of Genshin Impact uh, 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 emotes coming out, which is great. Um, but if you guys have questions, we try and see those and then we'll, we'll, we'll try and answer those as well. Her name uh, is Noel. Oh, oh, Noel. I'm sorry. Uh, somebody's saying PC building gives me anxiety. Uh, I'd be so much to mess up. Honestly, guys, not that hard. You'd be surprised. It's it's nowadays. It's actually more like it is really adult Lego in the fact that it's almost like even adult Duplo Lego. It's like so. It's you know very very plug and play. And there are so many videos from myself, Kyle, you name it. Great, uh, great videos to help you with any st uh, step by step. Uh, going for there. Now, yes, thank you. E easy peasy lemon squeezy. Torque wrench, no. Don't, yeah. don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm more, I, I would say I probably put more time in my car than I have in a, uh, you know, PC, but. Yeah, well, but except for now, I mean, like now you're getting, you know, more time. So you, are you a big car guy? Where do you oh. think, what do you think tuner is? I thought it was for you tune builds in Monster Hunter. No, tuner cars. You're a tuner cars. Running in the 90s. Okay. Okay. So what? So what kind of car? Like, what are your I favorite? Drive, car? I drive um, a FRS. Okay. Okay. Uh, bought it brand new off the lot. Okay. 2016. That thing had uh, 18 miles on it. It came just off the truck. I was the first person to test drive it. First person to. I bought it right off there. Okay. And uh, in fact, when it came off the truck, uh, it w had a packing slip in it from Japan. Okay. We have the same birthday. The car and the you do? The car was manufactured and like shipped off the manufacturing site onto the truck March 9th, my birthday. That's awesome. Wow, that's pretty cool. That that's is like, that's like super like kind of freaky. Yeah, I, right? I gotta, so I've like got to keep that thing forever now. Oh, yeah. So, and so what year is it? It's a 2016. Okay, 2016. Okay, and so, and, and have you tuned it? Uh, not yet. The car that I've worked on the most was my Mazda, and okay. I've done um, manifolds, turbos, full back exhaust, uh, injectors, intakes. So I, actual I actually stuff that improves the performance. I of the actually car. did wheels last because I could no longer keep traction. Oh, really? And wow. I went to uh, Evo X wheels, uh -huh. uh, Emma, uh, MR wheels, and uh, nice, nice little stand. I was working on getting it rolled. Uh huh. 
And uh, I ended up just, I was moving to California, okay. and I was like, this is never going to pass smog. Let's trade it in for an FRS. Well, I mean, that seems, <laughs> I mean, that's, so, so all in all, like, you don't have that car anymore. Now it's like, at some point in time, you're going to basically start modifying When it. I pay it off, okay. which will be in like two months, okay. um, I'm going to go for a supercharger, Okay. I think is a, one of the first things I'll do. And then uh, we'll probably need to do wheels because it comes with Prius tires. Well, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Everybody would agree, right? Like, you, no problem, right? Yeah. So wow, that's that's pretty crazy. So that's where that's where Tuner came from. Mm -hmm. But now you've tuned. You you're now tuning also uh, Monster Hunter builds. So my, do you want the whole history of my name? Well, before grab your case while you do it, <laughs> and then yes, I do actually want the whole. We're guys. Somebody's saying, hey, we want the Tuner lore. We're gonna get you the Tuner lore. So we're gonna get the whole story here. This thing, real quick. Can we just appreciate how small how, that is? It's very tiny. They actually, I think honestly, they got this case just to tease me because they know that if I like stand behind it, you can't see me. I think that's why they did this. But oh, yeah, we, we got one like. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you got a little window in there. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So we're gonna let's well, well let's go ahead and strip this down. So there's a little button here. Pull this off. Oh, buttons. Yeah. There's buttons. I use the screws. Yeah. No. It's like these are quality of life. This is an Asus Asus case. How things have changed in three years. Oh, and oh, well, I mean, not not everybody does that, but yeah, for sure. Okay. Another one here. There we go. Let's not break the uh, not break the uh, tempered glass. That seems like a good idea. Uh, do you want the front one off? Uh, I already did. I already took it off. The glass? Case. Yeah. I already took it off. It was magical. Yeah, it's not there. See? No, I'm talking about this one. See? Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, let's see how this one comes off. Because I haven't done, I have only built once in this case, and so I'm pretty sure it does come off. Let's take that looks like a treat to the build back. In off first. So if you want to unscrew that, I know you've watched like so many episodes, but if you want to unscrew that with Excalibur. Thank you. <laughs> Excalibur. 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 Sorry. I was, I've been preparing that for. You've been, you've been so waiting for just that moment. I could see it in your face. I was like, he's going to have a bit. He's going to have something ready. The I, funny thing is, it, it, the screwdriver doesn't even look that big next to you. <laughs> I mean, compared to everybody else, they're like, you know, when like we did Yuji, like, and they were like, so it's so so big from being there, and like, but uh, here you are, you're just like, yeah, no, it's fine. This is a normal screwdriver for. I me. mean, this is about a normal screwdriver for a car. I know, and then it, so it's like, it's it's not, it doesn't, it's the joke's not working as well. I really <laughs> appreciate the fact that you actually had a bit because if not, everybody'd been like, ha, hey, that's a good job, Roby. Way to way to way to fail on that one. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's get this one over here. That's your that's your cable management cover. Wow. Okay, now let's let's see. This does come out, but I don't want to break it. I, I. So let's do this. Oh, that's for the for the mesh. Yeah. So let's let, let me look at the front of the case. We're gonna take the top off. So we are gonna remove these. So if you want to pull on that one, I'll pull on this one, because we want to get the. Wow, this one's like super grippy. Okay, there we go. Oh. There we go. So we can get to the top, and then you can put those back on. There we go. I mean, that's really cool. Okay, and then we like... just push this, and that'll slide this off. The question is, maybe the front does not come out. And the reason I say that is that sometimes they have um, uh, little things that pop out, right? Mm -hmm. And so I was just trying to see, this does not have things that pop out. So, and this looks like it just pulls. It looks like it just pulls. I will let you do this one. Oh, no, that's not it. You, you can handle this one, I think. Oh, I, yeah, this has got me nervous even. <laughs> so, okay, what do we got? This is, so we've got an enclosed thing for here. And I'm going to see, I'm just lear I'm learning about this case at the same time here. <laughs> oh, yeah, so we actually have to take that. Okay, so let's take this. We're going to take all this out. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're going to do one more part here. So you see these screws? We're going to remove those. This is so we can get to the PSU. Oh, you've got the giant. I was like, where's the giant screwdriver? I was, I was always, um, every, every time I was watching, I'd say, you can kind of tell who's used a screwdriver or not before. Oh, really? Yeah, the way they, they use their hands, I've seen a lot where they were doing it kind of like this. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know. This yeah, you, yes, you got a guide. Yeah, no, that's a good point. That's my go-to. Okay, here we go, and then one more. One right here. And then there's going to be, it looks like there's one right there, too. So we're just getting the case stripped down to the least amount of thing. Stripping it, ooh. Yeah. Strip, yeah. This is the PG-13 part. If you have kids who've never seen a naked case before, you know, just take a break. 
Okay, so it's out. Yeah, it's just. It's wait. there. We go. Okay. Oh, oh, there we go. that's okay. That's okay. That's just so. It, it was holding on to something. Yep. Looks like it's holding on to the little cable guard. So this is what I'm looking for here. Oh, looks like there's some screws in the front too. Yep. Well, actually, we'll put that back on. Actually, no. Let's go ahead and take this out. So okay, there's another screw right here. Okay. Just make it easier to route, and then we'll hide. We'll do the cable hiding afterwards. Now you do a good job with that. I, it's what I want to do. Is it coming out or? There it goes. Okay, cool. Let's remove that. I'm actually just trying. This case is so heavy, guys. It's 40 pounds of just a Chunkosaurus Rex here. So we're just trying to get this whole thing. Okay, so there's a screw here and a screw here. I thought about taking a bunch of pictures of my computer that I built and kind of getting your. Yeah, because yours like. <laughs> Like yours is way small. Like we've we've definitely done a jump in terms of the side. Yep. And it's not even that. Just my uh, my cable management probably isn't as good as yours. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I also, I mean, I have I build a lot of PCs. Now, somebody's saying also it says on the top and bottom of the motherboard tray. I think they were talking about this. Okay, so here we go. We got this. So this is so we can get to everything else. Oh wow. See, so there, and it's making it even lighter. We're stripping this case mad. Still pretty, still pretty chunky. Oh, dude, it's a chunky case. <laughs> still pretty chunky. Okay. Okay, so that takes care of that. So we've got everything here. This, okay, so I don't think this actually comes out. So now that I got this out, see how this is screwed? This just literally just comes out. Okay. We'll just be able to remove this and then do But we don't have to do anything because we're not, we're not front mounting your AIO. But you can, so just so people know, I'm going to give you guys a, a close up here what we're looking at. So there's actually inside of the case, I'm gonna see if I can get it turned around, there you go. There's actually inside of the case, you see how it's got these little screws. This actually comes out, so I don't believe the front actually comes off of this case, and I don't wanna do what I did with Tectone. Apparently there's just something about, uh, against, uh, get, is it Genshin Impact? I'm saying it, no. Genshin. Genshin Impact. There's apparently something about Genshin Impact streamers that basically I just don't wanna break their case. I don't wanna make it like a trend. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> that's, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna. Uh, did you break something on Hobbs? I did, you know, I don't think I did, no. So yes, okay, so I've so only you, you, oh, okay. you're. I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. I just didn't want to, I don't, for some reason I don't want, I still don't want to do it. I don't want to break anybody else's <laughs> stuff. Okay, so we can actually put this inside of our case now. So you've done this before. I'm gonna let you go ahead and stick, stick that in. Mine had way tighter tolerances than this. Oh, oh, actually, sorry, real quick, go ahead and put it down. Okay. There's a peel. Oh, a peel. A peel right here. Oh, no, that's not a good peel. That's a side peel. Yeah. So we can get, the camera's got a, got a good view of it. There Do you want me to turn it around so we can get the peel on camera? Oh, yeah, go ahead. He's saying yes. Okay. Let's see if and I he, can. And he, he, knows, he knows what the people want. All right. We good? Okay. Here we go. Oh, look at that. It's like, it's like. Try to go consistent speed. And good. It's also like, you know, it's like when you have skin on a sunburn. I mean, it's just, it's just what. <laughs> oh, that's foul. <laughs> I've got, man, I've got some horror stories. <laughs> I used to live in Hawaii. Oh, really? Yeah, and I, uh, I crashed on some rocks. Oh. Well, yeah, when I was a oh, kid. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so you can go <laughs> ahead and pop that inside of your case. Okay, now, we're going, yeah, everybody's like ruined. Uh, once we start, we're, we're gonna start putting uh, mounting screws here in a second. Do we, uh, and then, so once we, once we get this, uh, once we get this in, we're gonna take a short break. Uh, guys, so we'll get that in and then we'll come back and we'll finish doing uh, the screws and all that sort of stuff here. And then we're going to come back and you're going to give us the full rundown of your history. So you give, stay tuned back in five minutes for some hardcore tuner lore and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> Everybody for joining us today. Let's talk about the parts we are putting inside of tuners build. Uh, so we're coming to the list right now. So first off, kicking it off with an Intel. They aren't chump change. They're good. No, these are good. These are good giveaways. One to celebrate your first PC. So we're going to be giving away some uh, 12, uh, some i5, some 12th gen i5s, some 12th gen i7s. We've got these really rad, um, basically, uh, uh, display kits and artwork. So there it is right there. Next one, Monster Hunter Rise. I wonder why that code. You know, it's probably because it's this little indie game yeah, called Capcom. Yeah, yeah, little indie studio. Don't don't pay attention to yeah, this stuff yeah. on the. Yeah, the you know, Monster Hunter Rise. But anyway, uh, Monster <laughs> Hunter Rise is code two. Like I said, giving away two 12th Gen i5s, uh, two 12th Gen Core i7s, the V1 Tech custom backplate. 
Uh, we let's just show, dude, because this is Oof. this is that. So this is the one for the Strix. So we're gonna give it. Check those out, man. So so cool. Uh, and then we've also got those V1 Tech Plexi Glass Wall Arts. I I'll feel like those. I'm on a. You are. You're on like you're on like the sh home shopping network right now. Look at you, dude. You're Vanna. Like you're doing so good. <laughs> uh, and then uh, all of those come with those Alder Lake swag kits, which you're seeing over there uh, on the right, the left hand side. They're probably the best thing. Uh, and then we'll, we will be showing uh, that other Plexi art a little bit later because it's pretty rad. Uh, okay, so that's what we're doing now. But first, we got to put the screws in, and then while we've put the screws in, okay. you're going to tell us the story. You're going to take us to a time back when you were just a young pup <laughs> uh, on, the, uh, on the plains of Nebraska. I don't know. Where, I don't, where were you born? Uh, Wiesbaden, Germany. Oh, so you're, you're a military brat? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that, so, uh, so Wiesbaden, Germany, uh, so off at Air Force Base in Nebraska? Or where did you stay in? Because oh, you have been to Lincoln, right? Is yeah. what you said. Um, so I, I, you know, I've moved like 20 times yeah, yeah. before I graduated, but it was, I think it went from Germany to uh, Nebraska to Kansas to Hawaii to Nebraska to back to Hawaii to Texas to Colorado. So was it Air Force, <laughs> Army, or? Um, Dad was Air Force. Okay, so yeah, so it was my father was Air Force. My father was Air Force as well, so off at Air Force Base in Nebraska, uh, Hickam Air Force Base yep. in Hawaii. Uh, we also did, uh, we were at Goodfella in San Angelo, Texas, and then, uh, you know, been to all sorts of, so we, I'm also an Air Force brat, which is actually pretty cool, <laughs> so there it is. But yeah, uh, why you ignored me in the airport, I'll never know. Oh, uh, it's because you you're of your car. We, no, we need to talk about your car. What's wrong with my car? My car is fine. Well, let me ask you. How do you pronounce the name of your car? Is it Porsche or Porsche? It's Porsche. Okay, if you say so. No, it's Porsche. And then it's a Porsche Spider. It's a spider. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a car. And it goes vroom, vroom. See, you know what's really interesting about my car is what? it has a lower center of gravity than yours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But mine also has a, uh, a flat four. A flat, it, mine doesn't have a flat four. A flat six? It has a flat six. Flat six. Yeah, it's, it's the GT4. It's, it's yeah, it, mine, it, uh, the, uh, someday we'll have to get together and I'll let you drive. It's a lot of fun to drive. The, the, the nuttiest thing I've ever driven was my uh, friend's G8, definitely... uh, believe it or not. The Pontiac G8, and uh, it was all done up. It's you wow. know, had like a full exhaust. It had you know like the he actually put uh, the uh, C7 Corvette wheels on it. So I mean, it, and it needed it. Well, yeah, because it's, it's so it basically it was, just been so. Tuned. It was cammed. It had everything. It was stroked, I think. Uh, and he had taken the L76 and just he basically turned it into an LS3. Wow. Yeah. And so that was, it was just bonkers. I mean, it was, it was nutty. It was loud. So we've, I, th I think the, so the, the nuttiest ones I've done, draw, driven is, so we drew about 850 horsepower uh, Shelby GT Cobra, which was, that was, I, like, I didn't even feel like I had control of the car. <laughs> but um, I worked on Gotham, Project Gotham Racing, and I worked on um, Fortson. So they had cars that came in all the time. So really? You know, McLaren P2s and Lamborghinis and all those other things, which are just fun. And then we took, the best one was when we were in Liverpool. We actually took like all these 14 exotic cars. And then I was in a, I was in a Huracan and then we drove, uh, sorry, I was in a, um, I was in a Lamborghini Murcielago. And then we drove all of them to the drive-thru at McDonald's. Mercy me, that Murcielago. Yeah, it was, but it was, it was actually pretty, that car, those cars have a ton of room in them. Really? So yeah, they're actually not that cramped. Now what? Now what Forza did you work on? I worked on the first. So I really? worked. Yeah. So I worked at Xbox for 20 years. I, <laughs> so we helped with testing on the first one. Yeah. So um, one of like my first games because I bought the 360 that came with Forza 2 and like Avengers and like it came with that you know three disc pack. Right. And I still remember. So my favorite my my favorite Porsche is the 914 uh, slash six. Okay. I remember the first time I saw that in like that burnt orange color. I don't know, it just, it didn't look like a Porsche. It really didn't. Yeah, it, it's funny. Well, I think yeah. it was made in partnership with Volkswagen. Yeah. At the time, so it was kind of, it was just really weird. There's actually like, there's actually one like right down the road from really? here. Yeah, there's like a yellow one that's been sitting there for like a year. <laughs> and it's like, I was like, every time I drove by it, I was like, I kind of just want to buy that car. Um, yeah, it's, it, it, you're right. It doesn't look like, but we, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Porsche, enth a Porsche enthusiasts, um, uh, like Porsche. Now, you know do you know about like Rough World? Yes, yes, because uh, remember, the thing is, is that like, 
For a long time, and I don't know if people know this, but uh, for a long time, and you're going to put these screws, you, you, know, the, you know the drill, I'm going to give you this. For a long time, um, the license was exclusive to EA, so you couldn't put um, Porsches in, uh, uh, in any game. So Rough, you could basically put in any one because it was a separate license. And so that's how you, uh, so many people learned about Rough, uh, which is actually pretty funny. No, I'm actually talking about uh, RWB. Oh, no, like, I'm talking about RUF. Uh, no, uh, but have you have you seen like the RWB 911s? No. Ooh. So there's this guy that comes in from Japan. He, he's the only person that's allowed to do it, and all he does is he goes over to your place and he looks at your car and he envisions an art piece essentially. Wow. Okay. And he drinks glass bottle Coke exclusively, <laughs> and <laughs> you pay him like. Tens and tens, I think like $100,000, but he does the whole thing. It's a whole custom body kit, oh, and uh, he does like the paint and everything, his wheels, and the whole nine yards, and he does it all up. And uh, it's apparently just like the experience, and that's like, if I had all the money in the world. That's what you would do? I, I so what's your dream car then? You know... Um, ironically enough, the first time I saw the FRS, I thought to myself, I really wanted that, and that was just kind of like my, my baby. Okay. Um, it's not being very magnetic right now, huh? Yeah, it's not wanting to really do the thing. Um, I like, I, by the way, I have to give you a look at this guy, because he's literally just, he's talking and working at the same time. So, which a lot of times when we do this stuff, like, I'll end up having to, uh, I, uh, I'm having to, uh, I'm having to, uh, fill the channel, and he's just sitting there doing it, no problem. So, mad props right now. Okay, so anyway, I didn't mean to interrupt your story, but the, the, uh, your, your dream car in this case would be? So there's a couple of different things I've thought about doing if I had the money for it. Uh, I would like an E30, so a late 80s, early 90s BMW 3 Series. Okay. With a E46 engine, the S54. In E36 Techno Violet, I've got the whole thing planned out. Wow, that is so precise. Yeah, I. Uh, it's like funny because like you sit there and like I'll, I'll talk to anybody else. They'll be like, I want, uh, I really want to get a McLaren P2, or I really want to get a. And but you're like, no, no, I want this specific body with this specific engine with this specific color. Well, see, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the build, not bought. Right. Okay. Um, which. Is kind of why I built that computer the first right. time because I didn't just want to buy a pre-made. And um, the only other one that I was thinking would be a uh, there's like a sunflower yellow Miata okay. NA, so first generation with right. pop-ups. Um, but they have a conversion kit from Lucky Seven that lets you put in a um, an RX7 FD's like 13B in it. So a rotary yes, inside. Miata. <laughs> those are like my two, if I had all the money and the time, I would be building those. That's pretty crazy. Um, okay, so we've got motherboard in. What we can, well, uh, let's go ahead and hook up our front panel connectors. Mm -hmm. And yeah, people are like, I thought this was, I thought this was a, uh, I thought this was a uh, PC I, building I see show. we have another peel. Oh, you do, yes, right there. I was, it's funny, because I had kind of seen the same thing. Well, here we go, we're gonna get this in there. Yes, it is a big case. This case, now the other thing too is there's a PSU shroud that we would typically have in here, which is making this like look even more, like <laughs> making the motherboard feel even more dwarfish, but it's good, it does a good job of like kind of filling it out. Are you sure this is not an ITX in a full size yeah, case? Yeah, kind of, I was a little worried because when I first saw this, I was like, wait, is that the micro ATX version? I was like, that would have looked real, but we're good. Okay, so let's go ahead and hook up. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna flip this over, route our front panel connections so that way we can hook those up. Then we'll put our AIO together. Um, because there's not as many fans, then it's just basically getting drives done, and then we're, we're pretty much on our way. Okay. So it's actually going really well. So I'm going to put this over, start routing these cables, and then we'll have you hook it in. But we still have yet to actually get the full story. We keep oh. going off topic with, uh, so the full story the of you, yeah, of the name. I, I feel like, like they're running around the brain with everything on fire. The <laughs> name, the name! We forgot the name! Um, so uh, I used to play a lot of League of Legends. And um, I had this thing for um, names with alliteration. So, you know, it'd be two words and they'd have the same word into it. And uh, I was making a second account because everybody makes a second account right, at some yep. point. And um, there's this character from a 
program called Vocaloids. It's Luca. Okay. And uh, these Vocaloid characters, they have items that are associated with them. And this character's associated items were, was an octopus and a tuna. Okay. In Japanese, an octopus is called a taco. Okay. So tuna taco. <laughs> and there's even a, if you if you if you like before we kind of took off, if you had like YouTubed tuna taco, it would come up with a song, and there's a song for it and everything. <laughs> and um, I I took that, and um, my mom had mentioned something about how it sounded kind of dirty, and so I changed. I wanted to change the name to just tuna. And for the longest time, it was available on Twitch, but uh, it ended up being taken. Uh, when you were finally time. When to I do was it. finally ready to do it, some other partner had taken it, in which I find out apparently tuna is a common name in Turkey. Oh, okay. The, guy, the guy's a Turkish streamer. Okay, I did not know that. But I, there we go. There's a little bit of learning, information. There you going. go. So learning, learning a little, learning a little info, dropping yeah. a little, dropping some some history there. Okay. Yeah, and uh, so that was like the guy's name. And uh, so instead, because I play a lot of music, I will play stringed instruments exclusively. Okay. And uh, so the lute, hmm? the lute. No. <laughs> you know, I actually <laughs> thought about uh, since we're so close to Corona, I thought about going to the Fender. Oh really? Ball, that actually would have been pretty cool. Yeah. Cool. I don't know. Uh, but and then also the cars, the tuning cars, um, just went for tuner. That's that actually was, pretty cool. That's actually a cool name. It's unfortunate that you weren't able to get. Tuna, but yeah. You know, I think I'm happier. Yeah. Because tuna, while it's funny, uh, the tuner, I mean, that encapsulates the cars. Yeah. The cars, the guitars, and it also does, like, the tuning, the builds and stuff. That's actually pretty crazy, right? Like, so, like, you just have, so do you think, like, is what makes you passionate about it, is it, what is it that you, like, you find the most fun about tuning? Like, specifically, like, what is it when you, when you build a car, what are you trying to get? Like, when you think about your moment of, almost euphoria. It's so simple okay. in the way that, and especially, you know, because I've worked on a lot of older cars, right. you know, like my BMW and stuff like that. And uh, my grandpa had a bunch of old 50 Fords and stuff. It's just, things have a place. And every, you know, it's like what, everything in its place and a uh, place for everything. And you can only really do it right. You can do it wrong, but there's really, <laughs> you know, there's really only one like, right like, way to do it. Yeah. And I don't know, it's just this, it's kind of like building Legos, you know? Yeah. It's just, you're really just putting something back together in the way that it was supposed to be put together. I used to disassemble, like, my PlayStation and stuff when I was a kid, right. you know, and put it back together. It's just, I don't know, it's a nice, nice it's simple so, so you, you just get, yeah, so you just get, you get, you get zen out of the build, mm -hmm. so to speak. Okay. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to go ahead and connect our connections here. So I've got them kind of routed for you. This one is, I, I usually don't let people hook up, but I'm going to let you do it. Just needs to go at a 90 degree straight down. Mm -hmm. Because you're trusting people, me. I've never seen you let somebody do this. I know. This. It's like, it's like, but I just have a feeling, given everything else that you do, that you have the precision to do this. Of course, then you could bend to pen and I'll feel really bad about it. But there we go. You just pop in. Good. Okay, cool. Then you didn't bend to pen. Wouldn't pop in if you bent to pen. <laughs> that's, how you, that's how you know you did it right. Well, you okay. just got to trim off some of the extra Yeah, ones. exactly. Don't do that. <laughs> it's not real advice, folks. Okay, this one is same thing. We're just going to go straight in. There is, it is keyed a certain way. So if you feel like you're getting too much pressure, just rotate it. Okay. This case is really big. It is massive, especially like I said, you know, I, I was building an H200, which is not a bad case. No. It's just small. Yes, it is. Okay. But that, well, that was intentional. I, I wanted a really... Okay, that's good. You, I mean, yes, you didn't want to take up a ton of space. Now, this actually does have a second USB, uh, but the board does not support it, so you'll just have an extra one here. Um, so no biggie. And I like this one better for how it's going to look. Okay, next one we're going to do is our HD audio here. Um, okay, so this one is going to go, see this one right here? So it's keyed one way. It's just going to go right on top of that. And I, I don't know if you remember all of these from the last time you built. Yes. I mean, you can usually tell where they go into just by the holes. Keying, yeah. And a lot of people don't know this. Like, a lot of times you're like, I don't know, how do you know where things go? It's actually, they're pretty much all done one way. This is our RGB right here. So we're going to put this little three pin into that little connection right there. And it's, some, it's, it's funny because it'll feel like it's going in. Sometimes you just got to line it up. It's weird. You'll know when it's in there. Yeah. Perfect, just like that. And then lastly, 
the the real the real fun one, mm -hmm. the front panel connectors. So this one has resource switch, power switch, and power plus and minus. So what I what I have a tendency to do, and I'll, I'll let you do. Do you want to go hard mode or do you want to just go semi hard <laughs> mode? Because if we do hard, so hard mode is I just let you do it all yourself. Okay. Semi hard is I put one and then I tell you how to use everything else in orientation to that one. Up to you. Um, you know, you know what? You let me do the big one. Okay. So we'll I do, want you. Okay, okay cool. So I'm gonna put this one right here. It's all good. No, I I want you to have the experience you want, right? Like in the end. So I don't like I wasn't. It wasn't supposed to be a challenge. Okay. So next thing you do is a reset switch, and it goes directly underneath this okay. direction, right underneath it. The two one. Yeah, two prong. So the reset. Hard or nothing. I, I You know, it's so funny. People are. I was like, I like sometimes if like I really just want to enjoy the story. Here's here's the deal. Sometimes I'll be like, I'm gonna play a game. It's like, do you want to play easy just to enjoy the story, hard or normal? And sometimes I'm just like, I'm not. If I don't play it on easy, I'm not going to finish this game. So I I'm usually, just going to play it just to get the story because I want to just get what I'm getting. The way I figure is the devs probably intended normal to be the the average experience. Yep. And so I'll usually just go for normal no matter what. Right. Seems like we did something wrong. I'm sorry. It's okay. It just was off by one pen. Oh. But I'm going to fix it. And it, it's like, and then I was just gonna have you fix it, but then it was like they all, they both came out. I was like, never mind, I'm just gonna fix it. <laughs> and uh, well, I mean, you know, is streaming. It's some people think that streaming is just playing a video game with a camera on you, but that's not correct. It's ninety percent of it is not paying attention to the game. It's paying attention yep. to your chat or trying to think of something funny or witty because you know anybody can watch a game. You know, but you have to be entertaining. You have to be entertaining. Yeah, you have and to be you. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like you're like I feel really bad for people. This is why they're here. <laughs> okay, so power plus and minus is going to go just like this, and this is going to go to the top one right next to this. So it's going to go right to the right to the left. So the to the left, these top two right here, power plus and minus, and I've got it held. So plus will be on the left, minus will be on the right. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Now, why did you start building computers? Um, so it's funny. It's like I kind of had the same experience you did in terms of um, people. Like I, like I had bought, bought pre-builds, and like for me, I had the same. Like a lot of people are saying, it's like I always thought that PCs were going to be this like really hard experience. Right. Um, and so finally, I had a friend of mine, and this is when I was working at Microsoft, named Dom Humphreys, who was like, you know what, Roby, let's that. just build your Let's just build your. Oh, so I guess I just did everything. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, I was like, I was like, this doesn't. I don't know what I did here. That's my bad. I don't know if I just did bad directions, which is probably what happened. You said one on the left, one on the right. No, I meant one on the left and one on the left pin and one to the right next to it. So it's just like this. I was like, wow, I'm just really bad at instructions, I guess. Well, clearly not, because you've gotten through this a few more times than I have. Okay, and this is gonna go right here. There we go. Well, see, we traded. See, you did all of those, and I did that one. You did. You, and honestly, this is actually the worst one. This one is just, like, a lot of people say, why has this not been standardized yet? Why can't I just have a single plug? And actually, some motherboards actually come with connections. Some motherboards, some cases actually do this. I just wish they did that. So, because this is, like, probably the most, the most difficult part of the whole stupid build. I feel like either, there's no way my motherboard had where what they were supposed to be, so I must have had the sheet with me. And yeah, I, it's in the board, and because I'm doing it from like if you look at the sheet, it's really easy because you're like, hey, illustration, and you're like, oh yeah, this goes here, this goes here. But I am a just, visual guy, yeah. way more than auditory. Yeah, yeah. So I and that's I mean that's the thing. Hey, believe it or not, there are learning styles. Yeah. What? Well, oh, you will tell that to my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I I, I, I know. Um, okay, so we got that done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put together your AIO. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put this, to, actually, I'm going to let you lift that down. I'm going to let you put that down, and I'm going to grab your Ooh. box. Chunky, chunky. Yeah, chunky, chunky. Wait, oh, uh, what was it? Just want to go, yeah, just like that. Wow, you just did okay. that. There you go. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't, like, tilting it upside down. Do you see how he just, he was just like, whoosh. I'm, just, I'm telling you guys, his fitness channel is going to take off. You wait for it. Okay, so here's the funny thing. We were playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. Okay. And there's a section in Final Fantasy VII Remake where you have to do squats in a gym. And, yeah, it's a, it's a whole squat. Oh, no, no, no. And, yes, yes, I do remember that. Okay. And, um, you, know, I, the, you know, you're doing the button commands and, like, did 30. And someone's like, oh, Cloud's going to feel that tomorrow. I'm like, 30 squats in a minute 30? That doesn't sound that bad. And, like, my chat was just like, oh, that's super bad. And then we, and then we did the next mini game, and I got up to, like, 60. And I was like, that 
still doesn't sound like that much. And they're like, oh, no, 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 no. And so I'm like, OK, well, you know what? Let's find out. And I put up the timer and uh, for a minute 30. And I just started counting them out. And uh, I got up to I got up to the 60. I stopped the thing. I was like, well, I got up to 60. Might as well stop. And it was at a minute 10. So I had another 20 seconds left to do more squats. And you're like, did you do more or no? I mean, no, I, I didn't do more. I was like, oh, I think I proved my point. <laughs> You're like, I'm fine. Um, let's go ahead and grab the case again. Because, uh, so, uh, sorry. Um, one of the things is that with LGA 1700, uh, I assume because this had the, this had the, uh, leave it stand, it stood up, okay. sorry. Uh, because this had the adjustable thing that we were actually good. But this actually includes a different bracket for LGA 1700. So we're going to put in the right bracket and the right screws for that because we want this cooling to be good. So sometimes, yes, even when, so worth checking, especially if you're doing a 12th gen to see some cases are like they, they pre-worked for it. Uh, some coolers pre-worked for it. Uh, this one uh, did not. So we're going to be, we're going to basically uh, uh, fix that issue right now, which is not, not a big deal. So we're unscrewing these little posts. <laughs> huh? So, so we're, yeah, go ahead and remove the posts real quick. Okay. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and, go, yeah, we're, so go ahead and twist it a little bit more. Perfect. So that's what we're doing right now is we're going to go ahead and fix this uh, and go to LGA 1700 for the bracket parts. And he, while he does that, which is, you know, we just wanted to practice doing your bracket. So, yeah. Well, you know, as short as these are, they're surprisingly, because they're such a, a tight threading. Yeah. It's still, it's, I mean, it's, it's funny because they're going to be, I, these might be, I, it's interesting. We're, it's worth looking at here in a sec of how much different the actual, I haven't seen these like next to each other, so it'll be good to see this actually. So we'll see. Here's what the difference between the 1700 and the regular 11.2, 11.5X ones would be. So here's the LGA 1700 next to their. Okay, so it's slightly. So there it is. You, I don't know if you can tell us, but it's actually slightly shorter. There's a little notch. In little, and there's a little. The, I don't know if the notch matters, but it's slightly shorter than the uh, other one. So that would make a difference in terms of how well it's seated against your uh, CPU. So good thing we're changing it. This is why we do. And you know, honestly, this is just showing you, like, again, even after, you know, 500 builds, even I sometimes will be like, oh, hey, I need to change this out. And so instead of just pretending like everything's OK, we'll do the right thing and make sure that he has the right build. Yep, perfect. Now, how many builds do you actually think you've done? Do you, do you count? So I think we were at like three, I think when we ended the year last year, we were at like 320 something. And so, and we had done pretty similar, but I didn't count all of them in the first year. So I think we're somewhere in the six or seven hundreds wow. um, in terms of total builds. But I kind of wish I would pay, I had paid attention because it'd be kind of neat to say, hey, we're going to celebrate our thousandth build or whatever it was. But yeah, we, I didn't get to do that. And this is your favorite, right? This is absolutely my favorite. I mean, the conversation's been good. I, uh, I was super excited to hear that you were a car guy. What was your first car? So my first car was a uh, 91 uh, nine, uh, Honda CRX. Really? In Japan. Yeah, yeah. So my, yeah, it was, a, it was a Honda CRX. Okay, so we won't actually, my dad's back there. So there, the, my first car actually only lasted two days because I wrecked it right after the first, the second oh, day. Trendy. It was a little black. I have no idea what it was. And we, so Misawa, Japan, which is an Air Force base up in northern Hokkaido of Japan, uh, gets a lot of snow. And so I just literally ran and knocked the wheels underneath. So it was done. Uh, uh, so then we got a Honda, I got a Honda CRX. And that was like, it was, that was my baby. It was such a great car. Um, and, you know, and I grew up in the world of like Surf Hiluxes, which is the Highlander, the Toyota Highlander, and then we like Skylines and all, because that's, that's like, basically we used to go to Hachinohe and do car racing up there, and that's where drifting was, because that's where I went to high school was in Japan. So I came over here, and then my first car I ever purchased was a, uh, what'd you drop? Oh, no, you dropped your, oh. Okay, so uh, let's just take a quick second. Uh, we're going to take a quick, we're going to take a two minute break, guys. Just get a little audio thing to fix. We'll be right back. Two minutes. Squats and stuff apparently made our mics go, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm tired and just drop it. Yeah. Um, no. And then, okay, so we're going to drop code three right now because people are like, hey, we've only dropped two codes. <laughs> guys, don't worry. Magnum. Magnamalo. Magnamalo. Marshmallow. 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 Okay, Magnamalo. <laughs> there it is. Code three. What is that? It is a monster. In Monster Hunter Rise, it is the new flagship for Rise. 
Oh, okay. So I was like, that doesn't sound. Why can we not? Code three is not Puke Puke. <laughs> I just love the name of that. But that, it's not. It's, it's not. It's actually not. It's Magnamala. So please don't put that in there as much as that would be. Uh, uh, the first two guys, don't worry. Uh, we've been now Tuner and Monster Hunter Rise are the first two. So don't worry. You guys are good there. Um, so somebody had said, um, as you were closing, like with the squat. So we wanted to do a little squat test. But we're going we're gonna to uh, amp it up a little with this 40-pound case. So we're going to have you do some squats over here. So I'm going to get out of your way here. Right now or full right? build? Oh, we'll do it too later. So we just want to get you to get the difference. But we figured <laughs> now just to get it kind of ready. A couple squats with the case. Okay. And then uh, we'll go from there. So we'll get out of your way there. Let's Where can we possibly? Just right there. There's okay. just a couple, couple squats. Here we go. Some <laughs> squats here for there. And then he goes, okay, here he goes. So he's, just, he's doing the workout there. Oh, dude, no problem. Look at this. His form is flawless, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wow, and I like we'll how the camera. We'll do 10. Okay, 10 squats. So uh, it's so funny. Uh, it looks like you're playing an FPS right now, <laughs> and you just killed somebody. I believe this is 10. <laughs> yeah, yo. Good job, guys. Yeah, that case is huge, and he just squatted in it. Did you feel, did you feel like your heart rise or anything? No? no okay. We're good. So we'll, when we get to full build, we'll have him do 80. Uh, so yeah. Uh, okay. So we are now prepped, so we can actually put the case off to the side again. <laughs> now we know that you can lift it, no problem. No, we, we're good. Are, are we good? Yeah, we're good. Are it's, we it, good? It, we are good. <laughs> okay. Yes, we're good. He's like, he's, he doesn't want to do it anymore. Cool. He got that squat in too. Okay. Us. Uh, so people must know, like, people must know a little bit because he's like, that's the FedEx power. Oh, that's your mom. Never mind. Of course your mom knows that. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's get this popped out, and then we're going to get this set up. So we're going to be doing a... Uh, we're going to pull air from the outside of the case in. So we'll just get this set up and just get this ready. Lots of plastic here. Never enough plastic. You know, you wish. Or maybe, you, I'm, maybe it's the you, opposite. You wish you wanted more, you want more plastic? Well, I want more to peel. Oh, oh yes. There's not, oh. There, Where they, are my peels? Oh, don't worry. You've got. There's there, no peels on that. There is. Oh, there is. There's one on that. I don't know why this one doesn't. Oh, it came off in the package. Oh. Okay, so we got. Send so you it got, back. I want yeah, a new I know. One. I want new. I, we're <laughs> pausing. We'll be back in three days. We're going to take a three day break so we can get a new AIO and uh, go from there. Okay, so there's that. Get these out of the way. Little garbage pile over here. Now, okay. would, would you like me to peel them now? Uh, in a second. I'm going to okay. just go look and verify what direction I want to stick this in. So we're going to do tubes like this, okay. which means. The things go here. Okay, so I'm just making sure we got the right. Okay, so that we have the setup in the right orientation. Now you can do the peels. Okay. Look at that. It's very nice. Little tiny peels. That, yeah. It's quality peel though. Quality peel. Quality peels. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for that front glass. Just the nice quality peels by Tuner. It's like it's gonna be your is new that, like, is that like. It's gonna be your new a uh, skin a skin exfoliating. It's gonna be brand. your new Alexa, like your new Amazon Alexa, like ASMR channel. It's like you know, Alexa, please play uh, ASMR by Tuner or ASMR peels by Tuner. Alexa, play Who Let the Dogs Out, <laughs> and Alexa, order me a twelve nine hundred K. I uh, people have said that oh, uh, that I've accidentally done that before, where I said you know like, oh Alexa, that's so sad. Play Despacito, and <laughs> apparently I've actually got some people like that. People are, it gets exactly what we're doing. People are like, wait. Because <laughs> you just say it out loud, and then if people have their speakers on, they're totally. <laughs> well, well, who, who, who's playing, who's listening to things with their speakers on? I mean, just. <laughs> <laughs> they, they should know somebody, better. Somebody was like, oh, I'm, I'm at work. You, you can't swear. Like, why are you listening to me? Out loud. Out loud at work. Please don't do that. <laughs> you should know better. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna get all of this stuff placed. You got one more peel. Okay. I'll hold it for you. Oh, it's nice. Nice, very nice. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> okay, so let's get these on. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take these small screws. It looks like we don't need washers for this. Before we go, I need to just, just a little small adjustment here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's all fine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, they're all gonna spin anyway. I just wanted, like the moment is like, oh, of course I'm gonna mess with them. Okay, there we go, right there. Uh, let's grab your. Where's your giant screwdriver? Oh, it's right there. Okay, you put it next to. You. I was worried. So where's your? Yeah, it's like you know, it's like uh, back in the day. Where's your rifle, son? 
this is my screwdriver. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Yeah, dude, exactly. Okay, and then just make sure, so what I have a tendency to do before I go tight is just going into each corner. The reason oh, being yeah. is that then it just makes it a whole lot, if you have to adjust. It allows it to wiggle. Yeah, and if you have to adjust some of the other ones. I just wanna make yeah. sure they're actually like in, in. I am not trolling tuner at all. If anything, <laughs> Dude, I'm trolling I have him. He's been, he's been trolling me since we got here. So it's like, it's all, it's, there's, a little, there's a little bit of a payback uh, going from there. Okay, so the original plan was, is the people who set up our airplane tickets were going to put us, because we were both leaving from Seattle. We were going to I didn't know. Like, I, so I, this guy is like a mystery online. Like, it's, it's funny because like we were going through to make the, the thumbnail, which we misspelled his name on uh, yep. for my YouTube stream. And I was like, and so like, I was like, where, where's a picture of this guy? Like, I was like, cause we were trying to pull, like do, we usually do a picture or whatever it was. And I was like, you know what, honestly, we'll do a dragon. It's the same thing. He looks like a dragon, I'm sure. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't have as much information as I normally did, but anyway, keep going. So like, I, I don't know what tuner looks like. And so uh, we were going to be on the same flight cause we were leaving, leaving from the same town. And- Which uh, doesn't happen. <laughs> and so they were going to set it up to where we were gonna sit next to each other. But this guy flies so much that he just gets auto bumped to first class. And so that ruins the entire plan. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 here's, so here's what happens. So I get in there and he's like, hey, so I totally walked up to you. I mean, I totally saw you at the airport and you ignored me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait, did you say hi? He's like, no. <laughs> I'm like, well, well, how's that supposed to work, right? Like, how am I supposed to know it was you? Um, so yeah, it was pretty funny. But then now I'm telling everybody the story that it's the other way. So, and I don't think anybody believes me. <laughs> this is the tuner. So um, speaking of that, like, uh, so getting into streaming, you've been doing this for three years. Right. And a lot of people ask those questions. They're always like, hey, what, why the transition from like what you were doing, which was like, you were doing FedEx, right? Like that's I what would... you were doing before, which is actually a pretty rad job, actually. I know a lot of people actually like that. Yeah, I was a, a logistics coordinator for FedEx Ground for almost a decade. And uh, that's a long time, by the way. Yeah, it uh, was fun. Um, but I uh, has, you know, so they say uh, people don't leave, people don't leave bad jobs they leave bad bosses. And I'll just leave oh, it at that. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so you didn't like the job very much. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we are missing a Yes, I know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look for, go ahead and tighten the rest of them down, though. Okay. I'm looking for that because I, I, I literally. I believe it's right here. Oh, hey, I found it. <laughs> hey, I found it. <laughs> I was like, because I did drop a screw. I was like, uh, I dropped because I was like cutting it open haphazardly. Um, so you, so you, how did you get into streaming? Like, what made you decide to even start? So, okay, this goes back a ways. Um, there's only one person who was really there for the uh, the origin of my account, and uh, it was because I was playing a rhythm game. Okay. Uh, called Project Diva Future Tone. Uh, and yeah, wow, that's a name. Yeah, it's a, it's a Vocaloid game from that like that name I was telling you about. And uh, when I tried streaming it to Twitch from, or when I tried streaming it to him just from the PlayStation Four, it wouldn't play the music. So all you could hear was the button clicks. So I had to go out and buy a capture card and set up a Twitch to live stream this game to one guy. Of course, I was flush with cash. I was a manager, you know. At, <laughs> I was a logistics manager, so I was like, oh yeah, sure, I'm just gonna go drop $200 on a capture card just to stream you a game. Because we had played this game together for, this is the guy who got me into Monster Hunter. But so, and we've been playing this game forever on the PS Vita. Right. And we, so Future Tone is an, an incredible change from the Vita games. It's, it's very different. Okay. Uh, because what it uses is, um, the Vita games were obviously tailor-made for the Vita. Yep. Whereas Future Tone was the arcade version of this game directly ported to PlayStation. Okay. And that game is played basically like imagine another one here and it's just played with buttons like right, this. Right, right, right. So the way you control it is not intuitive compared to the previous versions. Right, right. And basically I was walking him through how to play the game. So even then I was trying to teach people how to play video games. And... Um, that's where it started, and so that's, that's so funny. So did you did like how many people were watching it? It's like how no, did, just just the one, like, just him. I, mean, I think randomly, you know, the numbers would go up because I think people have the game like on their oh somebody's streaming this. I'll pop in. For I'll a take second. a look. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but it wasn't until I was starting to work with Jinx um, for the Ma the Monster Hunter stuff like a year later 
that uh, there was like, yeah, this is. I guess I'll just stream. That's pretty cool. And then so and then uh, so what was the what was the catalyst for going full time? Was it just the was it what you were talking about earlier, or you know, was it like a financial thing? Like, what what made you choose to go full time? Um, you know, at that point, uh, we'd kind of gone up to, I think we were like three, four thousand. It was it was dumb. It was the dumbest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I should not have done it then. Okay. Um, but <laughs> I like I, this. He's honest. He's I, honest. Folks. I took a huge risk, and it and it kind of paid off, and. Um, but yeah, no, I just was not happy with my job. And so I'm like, you know what? We're starting to pull in a little bit of money with this Monster Hunter thing and YouTube. And maybe we'll just give it a shot. Wow, that's a big risk, actually. It was a huge risk. It was it actually really was. Well, luckily, it worked <laughs> out. And I do not recommend. He's like, oh, how did it start? I do not recommend it. <laughs> no, I do not recommend doing what I did. It's, and so, so, what, so when you do, like now that you've kind of gone through it, what is some of, because I mean, so many people here, like, you know, we have a lot of people who, who will go and tune in and, you know, a lot of these people are, are yours they, and I. Will they tune tuner in? They'll tune her in. There's a lot, of, they'll, uh, nice, I liked it. That's a good, that was a good, uh, that was a good pun there. Um, it's very but, common in my channel. Oh, yeah. How mm -hmm. many, are you tunering in? Yeah, um, everybody's kind of tunering in right now. But the question that I have is like a lot of times, like, so we'll have people who are maybe on Intel's channel right now who are like, oh, well, what, what is the, what, like, if you were going to give some advice to somebody who was going to get into what you do. Right. Um, first, they'd have to take over your body, but you know, a loss from that. I mean, what what is some uh, some good advice for people coming into the industry for the first time? Um, you know, I I kind of have a, a realist version of advice. Okay. Um, there's going to be a lot of disappointment when you start. Uh, there really is, and um, you just kind of, if you really want to, you're going to just have to be prepared to sit in a room for a really long time by yourself and just kind of talking to nobody and nothing. And you, you can't be relaxed and disengaged because if somebody hops in your channel for 15 seconds and looks at you and you're just sitting there, they're gonna that's, just leave. Oh, I, I never thought about that. Cause the other thing too is like how many, you never know the person that you, who might pop in, who's like a missed opportunity, right? Mm -hmm. Like pops in and like, you, maybe that was the guy who next time he's watching and he's like, oh, I want to get into this game. And you, it's Shroud or whomever, right? And all of a sudden it's like, you're like, and he's like, and I am never watching this game again. But then you're super interactive. He's like, oh dude, I'll throw a raid or whatever it was that could change your whole thing, right? The nuttiest story I've had is um, when I quit my job and I, I paid my first set of bills from streaming, I threw it up on Imager. I just put up a post like, oh, you know, like the, the red penguin, blue penguin, it was like, uh, just quit my job to play video games for a living, Blue Penguin, and then Red Penguin just paid my bills for the first time with video games, and it blew up the front page. Oh, that's and, awesome. And like a bunch of random people were coming in, and one of them, Danny, is like my hugest supporter. He found me from that imager post, and he's nearly like, between him and a couple other guys, they've like single-handedly kept this that's whole awesome. thing going. That's awesome, yeah. You always, like, I, it's always to find those crazy supporters, right, sometimes is, is always super awesome. And you are all crazy for being here with us right True. now. True. We, we, we just, we want to say. Um, okay, so we've got this ready. Now we're ready to put it inside of the case. Okay. So if you want to grab the case again. <laughs> He's getting his workout. Okay. Uh, down or? Uh, we're going to put it up. We're going to leave it up, actually. Okay. So you're, I'm definitely using your height on this one for, for sure. And guys, let's go and do code four. Code four is V1 Tech, who are the guys who did that super awesome uh, custom. Shall we, we, showed shall it, we yeah, pull we'll it show it off. And then actually, I think it'd be a good idea as well. Let's go and show off the rad uh, V1 Tech plexiglass wall art. Let me show you this, guys. These things are so cool. So we have one right here. So here is the plexiglass wall art that also is being given away. And I don't that's know who, really cool. I don't know who this art, I mean, I, I don't know a ton about this artist, but these things, check these out. These things are so cool. So what they do is they turned it like kind of into a game art uh, of a PC build. Um, and uh, you can actually put like some lights behind this or whatever it was and have it light up. But these are super, super cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, and I've seen a number of these uh, come from here. And so just really, really cool to see this. I get um, one of those, right? Uh, sh I, I'll, uh, sure, I'll give it to you. I mean, I, I, have no, I have no power here, but great. Yep, congratulations, you get one. <laughs> Woo. 
<laughs> so there you go. So this is the other thing, the plexiglass, the plexi wall art. Um, and then we also showed you guys, again, we've got that i5, which was the original CPU inside of your build. And then that 12, seven, uh, the 12, it's i7 12700K as well. So there is all of the giveaway stuff uh, right there. Okay. Now now, what like what is the performance increase? Would you would you if you had to throw out an oddball between my ninth gen i5? Well, it depends on which ninth gen i5, because the other thing too is like there's like so there's an eleven nine hundred k, a ten nine hundred k, an eight nine hundred k. So if you're like an i5, like eight, you know whatever, right? Like it can be significant, like three times. I don't, I have no idea because I don't know the specific one that you. I have. think it was like a ninety six hundred k. Okay, so it was a ninth gen. So, I mean, this is like literally three generations higher. So, I mean, your boost is going to be, I don't know. Uh, let me ask this, uh, uh, my tech specialist, let's not me make something up. Uh, <laughs> let's make me, uh, let's uh, have you guys, uh, somebody tell me the performance difference between uh, an I, a, ninth, a ninth gen i5 and a 12th gen, uh, 12th, uh, 12th gen i9. Uh, and we'll get you that number directly. Versus me, just I'd rather not just be like, it's 86%. Uh, it's from, actually 86.3. Yeah, somebody's like, what? <laughs> what are you doing, Roby? Making numbers up, exactly. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna have you, there's a little, there's one cable. I'm gonna run it through that top slot there. So you can tell I've worked on really tight tolerances for yes, cars yeah. before. <laughs> and then now comes the interesting part. So I'm gonna grab, so there's these screws with a, would you like me to hold or are you holding? I will hold because you are taller. Okay. And you have to use Excalibur. Have I, have I achieved toll? You've, heard, you've achieved toll and I've achieved oval. <laughs> Overage. Overage. It sounds so bad. It basically sounds like I need to be on Weight Watchers, which is true, but I mean, like, I'm, I'm working on it. Hey, Matt, if you clear Mount Rainier, I don't think anybody can say anything. Oh, they will anyway. You know, this is the internet. <laughs> Well, they don't matter. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, is that coming? Oh, oh, you want it all yeah, the way? So, I well, no, because I got it closer now, so if you want to pull all so the way. So what we're doing is we're actually um, splitting it between two. Uh, oh, that's go. why. All right, so go ahead. Okay, so you should, that's good. Okay. Okay, now you've got, I'm holding that. And uh, then, just start anywhere? Yeah, just start in the corner. So you're going to do left corner and okay. right corner, yeah. And then you're just going to go opposite corners. And then you can hold it. So it was a, it was a, it was a. Where do we put Excalibur? Right here. Oh, here's this. And then I will grab Excalibur for you. It's right here. Be a little over. So it was a strength day More in uh, it, uh, Orange Theory today. Okay. And my, like, basically they killed us. Okay, we're good. There you go. Okay. And then now what you're going to do is take all of these screws and do every single one of them. And put one in every hole. What is your favorite exercise? If you, if you actually had to just, as stupid as that sounds, if you had to pick one. If I, I like, I mean, so let me ask you, when you say exercise as in like, because I love hiking, like that's my favorite. Yeah, right? that's what I mean, hiking, okay. Yeah, hiking, which is like, you know, because it's like one of those things you can do, especially with high elevation. Mm -hmm. So like uh, Mailbox Peak, which is like 4,400 4, feet and just a little over three miles. Um, like those are my favorite ones. Um, but if like, you know, for like a, like, like I really like, uh, the like using my Peloton like bike right so that one's a lot of fun it's like part of it it just comes out so those are like my favorite things to do if somebody's like hey you're gonna exercise and you can only hike in Peloton I'd be like cool that's that's great cycling <clears throat> is amazing I love yeah. cycling it's so easy on your uh, on your knees I also used to swim a lot oh yeah me too I swam competitively in high school really uh, I did uh, backstroke and freestyle huh. so it, one uh, is not like is it is it in the right spot I think it's trying to come up. Yeah, it looks like it is. I'm seeing yeah, it, yeah, it's, the gap's closing. It's good. Yeah, it's like you were just looking at the same thing I was. I was like, uh, there's more. Okay, so you got, here's more screws for you. How many more do you need? Uh, I mean, there's lots of holes. Okay. How, well, how many should I put in? One in every hole. Okay, so, but there's like some that are doubled up on the same side. Do you? Yep, you okay. put them in every okay. hole. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, I got seven. <laughs> seven. Oh, oh, seven. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, the count. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, <laughs> the, 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 you, 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 people know how tall you are, Tuner, and so it's like funny. It's like people are getting a really good idea of how big this case really is. Yeah, no, it's uh. There's a couple people who met me at TwitchCon, and they'd probably go, "Oh, wow, that is a big case." 
Have you been to TwitchCon? I have not, because I am not. So I am a modified Twitch affiliate, because I'm I swear I stream to more than just Twitch. Right. So it's like uh, so I haven't actually. It, they they basically gave me a number that I have to hit before they'll make me a partner. Um, so then I can still do that too. So, but no, I have never been to TwitchCon. It's funny with all my time at Xbox and everything else. It was one. It's the one thing I haven't been to that is game related, to be honest. <clears throat> What other, I mean, because have you like been to GDC? And yeah. You, okay. So I've been to GDC, I've been to Gamescom, which if you ever get the chance to go to Gamescom, that's 365,000 people. What? Yeah. Wait, it's like, it's what? like a watch, it's like if you ever look Gamescom opening, watching the wall of people basically come through and, and, uh, and, and, uh, or like go over the whole thing. It is so, like, over the, 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 and even like the conference room, the conference center is massive. Um, it's like the, I think it's the biggest game show. It might be. Yeah, I think it might be the biggest game show uh, in the world, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure um, from there. Um, so what, to me that, so some people, like people getting in there, we have a lot, we have more people who are joining. What are the other games that you stream? So, because you stream Monster Hunter. Monster you Hunter um, used to do a little bit of Genshin Impact. I would used to. You don't do it really much anymore. No, I, I think we've kind of moved away from it. But okay. um, is there a reason why? Just lack of interest i think okay which um, i mean you, it's an important part of being a streamer is right place. more like lack of my interest yeah, yeah, yeah exactly you know? yeah <laughs> um but i'm really looking forward to elden ring i i'm actually oh. so uh it was funny i i don't remember if i mentioned it to, uh, to you on the on right now but so originally what kept me from playing monster hunter was that i had perceived it because of my friend Demon said it was too hard right and he said it was really complicated to get into. And I'm always really nervous about doing things that I perceive as hard because I feel like I'm going to suck at it. And right. I'm not a dude, fair. You know. Yeah. And so I had always put off Dark Souls. But people were like, oh, dude, Monster Hunter is so much like Dark Souls. You're doing so good at Monster Hunter. You should try Dark Souls. And Danny, that guy I was telling you about, he actually sent me Sekiro when it came out to wow. play. And I was like, no. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> and um, I had it in my library for like a year. And I'm like, you know what? Danny's been such Danny's a cool been, dude. Exactly. I've got to play some Sekiro for Danny. And um, so I started with Dark Souls 3 because I'd already owned Dark Souls 3. Right. Or I'd already owned Bloodborne because it was free on PlayStation. Yep, yep. So then I went and bought Dark Souls 3. And for a month, I started Dark Souls 3, went into Bloodborne, went right into Sekiro, back to back to back to back. That was the only games that I played for a month. And I was so nervous the entire time. Yeah. But we got them all. And... Um, Sekiro was probably my favorite video game difficulty ever. Just because I'll, it felt right? Well, because everybody says, oh, Sekiro's really hard, really hard. But, like, Sekiro never increases the difficulty of the game. They just give you new tools and give you new ways to use them. And it's such a really different experience where, you know, your health isn't getting increased. Your, right. your armor isn't getting increased. Your damage stats aren't getting increased. You're just using your tools more efficiently. And I bet I've never done like a soul level one run or, you know, whatever, like right. the new version of those are. But I bet it would probably be pretty easy for Sekiro if you were really good at the game to just go no upgrades. Wow. Yeah, it's funny because like uh, it's funny. I just like we have a friend of ours who same thing, Jess Corden, who big, got into Dark Souls. And so I started playing. I was playing remastered. And honestly, like the thing I like about it is it's actually not hard. They just want you to t use the tools and then it's about it's a, it's actually more of a puzzle, um, and I, I can definitely see given what you kind of talked about with your history and everything like that how that that can be almost cathartic for you because it's like it is that it's you tuning and using the mechanics in the way that they were meant, mm -hmm. which is actually pretty rad. Mm -hmm. And then um, you know I've always told people Dark Souls isn't hard; it's punishing, and there's a difficult there's a difference between difficulty and punishment. Right. Where say for instance. The mechanical difficulty of like a rhythm game where you have to hit all these buttons really fast, yep. as fast as you can. And then there's the punishing thing where the game wants you to wait. Wait for a command, wait for a signal, wait for something, and then act on it. And if you try to act too quickly or you try to push your luck trying to, say, get two hits in on the guy instead of just one, then it smacks you across the face and throws you across the room. Yep. And uh, and that's the thing. is like It's, it's actually it's literally... I think it's almost more of a game of patience than mm -hmm. it is. And it's so anti the way most people play games. Where that it's just mash, mash, it's mash, just mash, 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 mash. And just like, oh, I, or, or they're like, I just need this to be over. 
right? And so, and it's like the people I found out who actually really enjoy it are the same people who have a tendency to be hardcore raiders in World of Warcraft, mm -hmm. where it was all about mechanics. And if you did, like, you just had to follow that stuff, right? Um, but there's then obviously the Twitch, or the, like, understanding, like, hey, when A happens, do B, et cetera, right? So, so when I started, um, there was there was a rule I made for myself is that if I came across a challenge, I wasn't going to back down. I was just going to keep going at it until I beat it. And uh, for those of you who have played Dark Souls three, I went into the room with a little old lady where they spawn Dancer. Uh, who is like this mid towards end game boss? And they were like, "Hey, hey, tuner, you should like swipe that lady in the chair." And I did, and <laughs> and in spawns a, a really late game boss, and it took me like 17 tries to get it with my equipment. And uh, what's so interesting about Dark Souls is the nuance between each of the little weapons. They're very similar, right? But they have like one little quirk over the other. There's a long sword and a broad sword, which are almost the same except for one crucial move. When you roll and attack with a long sword, you do a thrust. And when you roll and attack with a broad sword, you do a swipe. The swipe is mm, just so little bit faster than the thrust. And the animation commitment between that swipe and the thrust was enough that it threw me off. And I stuck with the broad sword, even though it was technically a less versatile weapon. Right. So when you beat her, did you use? Did you have to switch, and that's what made the difference? Or yeah, I was using a long oh. sword, and because because my, my friend Jinx was just like, use a long sword; it's such a good weapon. And I'm like, this sucks. And I went to the broadsword, which is almost exactly the same, except for that one little thing. And when I dodge, I'm able to get a hit and react quicker. And that was what. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, okay, let's get your pump on now. Pump, pump it, it up. up. <laughs> This is not going to happen. Like, it's funny. I'm just realizing there's not a lot of RGB on the fans in this. Shame. I know. <laughs> no, it's okay. Well, are you going to be okay? I'll be fine. Okay. I just, I want you to be happy. <laughs> okay. So we can do the... I could tell you the funny story about my case. Oh, does it have like no RGB? Or? Well, no. The H200i has like some built-in stuff. Right. But I never bought the, uh, the RGB controller, so it's not even on... So you're not getting all the frames at all. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm missing out on frames. You're missing out on frames for sure. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do here is this is gonna go on just like this, right into, right on like that, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you stick that right on. Actually, hold on, actually one sec. Oh. Go ahead and take it up, pick it up real quick. I am gonna, we're gonna put oh. a little, same, same thing, I'm just gonna put a little bit more thermal paste, just how this, so we're just gonna do a little bit, some little dot stuff on the edges. Because the thing is, is that, well, the middle will get covered, but the the edges won't on this on the IHS. I'm just going to give it a little bit on the edges so it compresses and covers the whole thing. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Okay, cool. And here you're going to put these in each corner. I love these. The thumb screws plus uh, Phillips. This guy, so hey, so Chino Master's asking about the thermal paste stuff. Honestly, man, main reason that I did that is usually when I do thermal paste and people call me the Bob Ross of thermal paste, <laughs> I actually use a, I spread and do an even layer of thermal paste, but we don't have that here. And so, and I don't wanna, I, the other thing too is that there is something about the evenness of a layer that is on a pre-built AIO. And I know the thermal paste that ASUS uses, so it's good thermal paste. So all I am doing is putting stuff along the edge, given the chiplets and stuff, on the IHS to make sure that he, he, as it spreads, it covers those other portions. So um, you don't want to, you definitely don't want to make sure that you, you, you definitely want to make sure that you, uh, in specifically with a 12th gen, that you're doing an X method plus filling in those gaps, or you will not cover the whole IHS. So, and he's like, he's more like, he's like, holy crud, you can see, he can see, he can see the chat. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Chino. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, it's just a, as an FYI, that's why we do it. I normally do not do the thermal paste that way. If people who watch my stream know, I am hugely uh, anal when it comes to putting in the thermal paste, so. <clears throat> yeah, I've seen you do uh, the whole, paint it like a little yeah. picture. You know, paint some happy little trees. Roby Tech, you should make a video parody of Bob Ross tutorial with thermal paste. Yeah, we, yes, we should do something like that. We'll, ha we'll actually have a, we'll have a tuner on, and then we'll use tuner, we'll use thermal paste on different aspects of his car. 
<laughs> once he pays it off, because we want to we want to make sure that w when it's done, then he has to buy a new one, maybe um, a Porsche. We got a peel here. Okay. You, so I don't know oh, you... oh, yeah. nope, not yet. Not nope, yet. No, oh, a, not there's yet. A, there's a time for that. Oh. We haven't hooked it up all the way. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's like there's I don't know. It's just it's 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 like superstition for me. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and start hooking things up to headers here. So this is your pump header, and then there's next to it is CPU optional. Okay, so our AIO pump is actually down here. So we're gonna take this one, and the main reason that we're gonna use this spe specific header is that this runs at a th at 100%, so we wanna make sure our pump is running at 100%, so you're gonna take this and plug it in right there, and then we'll, we'll, we'll find a way to hide the cable. That's my next, my next part. Does it really matter which one I plug it into? Yeah, yeah it does. Because, so see how this one down here says AIO pump? Oh, there it is. Yep. Yeah. So that's the reason that we plug it in there is because it has to that one that in the mother in the BIOS it's the right one. Yeah. <clears throat> so the next one that we have and we'll run it through here in a second. This is our USB. We'll run that there. But let me see. I want to hide this in a way that is that will look good. This is a little bit of interesting bit here. So let's run this through here because we want your PC to look good. You know that's important. Wait, is Danny here? Is, is Danny Dan in the chat? Is Danny in the chat? Danny? I've got a song for Danny every time he comes in. Oh, what's the song? Do you sing it? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, God, there he is. Okay, what's the song? We're going to hear it. Guys, get ready. We're going to hear the dulcet tones of Tuner. Danny, why did you eat my fries? I bought them, and they were mine. Yeah, you ate them. Yeah, you ate my fries. I cry, but you didn't see me cry. Danny, do you even love me? Well, if you'd showed it, I wouldn't know it. What kind of Danny eats tuners fries and doesn't even look him in the eyes? Danny, there were tears there. If you saw them, did you even care? Where did that, that song, <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, a great, by the way, great song. Great song, great, uh, great, great dulcet tones, my friend. But what is that song? Uh, it's from the show Adventure Time. Oh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. And so, but it, it, is that song specifically in Adventure? Like uh, instead of Danny, it's Daddy. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and I wasn't gonna say Daddy. Yeah, well, that makes sense. That makes sense because then you know that makes people sad. They're like, "What is this song? What's going on with this poor kid?" That's awesome. Okay, great job. Well, thank you. Welcome to the show, Danny, and uh, thank you for uh, having him sing and uh, uh, grace us with uh, those. Are so, choir or anything like that? No, no, or, no not just, at all. Just, just enjoy the singing. Where did that even? How did you even start singing that to him? Um, you were just like one day. Well, because like, he's he always he's he's French Canadian. He's from Quebec. Okay. And so he always talks to me about poutine. Oh, yes, yes, which and, is good. And I've never had it. And he's like, oh, oh you need to have poutine. It's like, I'll go get some French fries and throw some gravy and some, like, um, craft singles on it. He's like, that's not poutine. <laughs> and, you know, then, I don't know, I just got into the fries thing, and then I don't That know. makes more sense. See, like, obviously, context is everything, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All of a sudden, when you know something, you're like, oh, okay, this is making way more sense than just, like, you randomly were like, hey, I'm going to sing a song about fries. And the weird thing is Danny, like, every time is like, why does he sing that song? Like, I don't understand. But now it makes way more sense. Okay, cool. So there we go. We got a little bit of, we got those cables kind of cornered and clean there. I'm going to do one more little cable right there. Sorry, I'm just anal when it comes to stuff. No, go for it, man. Like I said, you, uh, you're you putting more effort into this already than I did in mine. Okay, guys, code five is up. Everybody's learning all the tuner lore right now. Jinx tuna. Okay. Oh, when you completely miss the thing. Code 5, Jinx Tuna, which is your Twiddle ha Twitter handle. Twiddle handle. Twitter handle. Mm -hmm. Twitter handle. What is, uh, what's the, the story behind that? So that is my partner and my that's right, that's right. combined Jinx. name. Because yeah, okay. it uh, used to be Jin Jinx and Tuner, the Monster Hunter math guys. Okay. And so I could give you Jinx's name because I actually know it. Oh. Um, he... Um, I can't remember his exact name, but he's uh, a first generation. His parents are like from China. And so he has a name. And apparently it's very common for um, Chinese families to 
double up the last syllable of their child's name as a nickname. And I believe his was like Yong Jin. And so they called him Jin Jin. And he put an X at the, in, the end of it and became Jin Jinx or Jin Jin X. Okay. And, um, and then we just, we started just, because we knew a Jin. There's a, there's a Monster Hunter spin, uh, speedrunner called Jin Farai. He's, he's a world record speedrunner. He is actually in the Guinness Book of World Records. And so he was Jin, so we just started calling him Jinx. Got it. So. And that's how the whole thing came up. Yeah, and so he's Jinx, and I'm Tuna, and we're the Monster now Hunter. Now we're the Monster, Monster Hunter. So why the math, what's the math portion of it? Um, we would basically go through and find the, there's the formula in the game for how much damage each attack is going to do. Uh, in Monster Hunter, there's a bloat value. So when you look at your weapon, it says, oh, it does 860. Um, bloats. Yeah, it bloats. It artificially bloats the value to make it seem like, okay, this weapon does more damage. It's supposed to be intuitive, but I honestly, I find that it does more harm than good. But okay. say, for instance, like, say Great Sword has, like, oh, okay, my weapon is 960 raw. Well, Great Sword's bloat value is 4.8. I'm 90% sure. And so, okay, well, your actual true raw was, uh, you know, 200. And, um, and so we take that number, and then you multiply it against your crit value, which is like one times uh, your crit rate times your crit damage, and um, you know multiply that by like your sharpness value. So if you had blue sharpness, it's like 1.2, and then that would give you like your effective raw, and then you would take whatever move you had. Uh, say you were doing like just a normal uh, true charge slash that had a motion value of, you know. I don't know, whatever it was. Uh, and then you would multiply that against the monster's hit zone value, which is how much damage they take from certain type of weapons. So like say, um, the monster's head takes a 35% damage from blunt weapons. And you would literally just multiply that all out together and like, this is what the number should appear on screen. Wow. And um, what we would do is we would take the builds that are together and combine the decorations and the armor abilities. And we'd say, okay, this is the meta longsword build where it's like, if you use this weapon, this is the theoretical, like this is pretty much what you're hitting for right. high uh, average damage. Some might hit a higher number, right. but over the course of the hunt, this, this will is what average, average damage out. is going to be. Wow. So you guys spent a lot of time. So math helped you. Did you get good grades in math? No. Okay. Well, there we go. Do you guys really? Is this who you want to listen to? That's the thing. He didn't even get. He doesn't even. Does it, so are you even good in math? Is this? Are we? Are we revealing? Are we having a? I'm just My problem was is that um, so like in school I was put into AP like all AP everything, right. but then I felt different, and so I immediately was like, all right, I'm not gonna do homework ever again. Oh, was it? Did you just eat a lot of like bad burritos, and that's what made you feel different? And I get rid. Well, they, like they, they would. My, this school would literally pull, like they'd go up, it's like, oh, hey, you and you, it's time for AP classes. And so they'd pull you out in front of the class. Oh. And bring you to a separate room where yeah. we were reading like Red Wall and stuff. And I'm like, I feel really weird being singled out. Yeah. And so I kind of like, I, so I would get like hundreds on my tests, but never do homework. Yeah, and then that didn't help your grades. Okay, so look, we got a couple more cables to hook up here. So this is your AIO USB cable. So this is going to go right over here, right in here. So you're going to plug that in right there. AIO, right? Yep, here? this is your AIO. Okay, and then we have up here at the very top, to spin it a little bit, there is a little gray. See this light gray connection? Okay. On the this, left? Yeah, this goes down. into that light gray. And this is basically going to run your, this is basically going to run your fans on the CPU fan curve, which is what you want. So as the CPU heats up, uh, your fans on your AIO will spin faster. Pretty straightforward. A little, a little tight. <clears throat> there we go. I think I'm killing them. There we go. Okay, so there we go. So we got all of those in. There we go. So this is all that. So this is all good. And then let's go ahead and run one. We're gonna run one more zip tie. Cause you get, you gotta have at least. 300 zip ties in every build. Do you have a preferred brand of zip ties? No, okay. I do not. <laughs> I have, I, I, it's funny because it's like, I probably should get one um, because like I Robbie have- Tech sponsored. I do know people like, people <laughs> like who have like, like actual like branded zip ties. 
Like, so like you can go and be like, hey, I can get Robitech. I, I haven't made Robitech branded zip ties, but you could have Robitech branded zip ties made for sure. So what is, uh, so what are some of your biggest, like favorite moments as a streamer? The, the coolest thing I think I've ever done. So Besides when I, this, I mean, I know. I well, know. okay, fair. This, this is probably it. Uh, but <laughs> when I played League of Legends, I was a support player because I figured you'd rather have somebody who knows how to play support than somebody who just gets auto-filled into it. Right. So I learned how to play support. And my For idol real. was Afromu. Okay. Uh, who is a professional League of Legends player. And uh, I got to teach him how to hunt Kolb Taroth and Monster Hunter World. Whoa. And that was so bizarre to me. And I'm like fanboying it up. I'm like, dude, you're so cool. Like, what, what's, you're this, so cool. what's this moment? What's this moment? What's this moment? And he's just like, yep, yep, yep. He's like, can you just show me how to <laughs> do this, sir? Can you just show me how to do this, sir? Because... Uh, Really, like, I just want to get the info and go. Like, and, you're pretty uh, cool, too, but come on. The other really cool thing is I actually just did this, like, four days ago. Um, there's a guy, Botanic Sage, who makes mashups of music on YouTube. Okay. And he's great. He's, like, he's so talented. He's got this, uh, so many good songs. So and he wrote your Danny song? No. Oh. Um, but... I was just like, he came into my chat one day and was just talking. And I'm like, you're not the real botanics. He's like, no, I am. I'm like, mm. and we ended up talking. And I actually just got to play, um, I play Monster Hunter with him like three days ago. Wow. On stream. So yeah, like, it's like there, you're finding that there's a broader, like almost a broader audience for Monster Hunter too. Like people who like play other games, but they, you know, they, you get a chance to kind of share your passion for the game with them mm -hmm. well, that's, actually, that's actually pretty rad i mean that's kind of like i mean i share some of that because i get to do stuff like this where i get to build with like people who i i may not necessarily have ever crossed over with but then like you've learned like oh yeah like uh like you play the same you that's a game i know i absolutely love so um that's pretty cool man um so did you have you you asked me if i'd been to twitchcon have you been to twitchcon is there <laughs> so my stipulation to going to TwitchCon was is I wanted to be a partner if I went to TwitchCon. If I wasn't going to be, Makes sense, I wasn't right. going to go. Yep. I got partner like right before TwitchCon, and I went to buy a ticket. I could not get one. Oh, no. Yeah, and so I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go anyways, and maybe they sell some at the door, and they do not. Um, so I was a partner at TwitchCon. I was in San Diego. I was bumming, like, badges from people and walking in. I'd, like, flip them around. It's like, oh, yeah, my, to my name's totally... Uh, hi, it's Fiona. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Fiona. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, there was a Monster Hunter meetup there. There was a bunch of cool people like Cups and uh, um, just other like other people. And um, we like we hung out and yeah, I was like, like my badge turned backwards the entire time. And um, it was really cool because there was a uh, Code Vein was just coming out and they had like a stand where you could go and like give blood or play Code Vein. <laughs> So did you do both or? Uh, no, but <laughs> I played I played Code Vein. <laughs> it's kind of funny. That's funny. So so you've only been to one then. Right, and I was intending on going to the next one, but, right, uh, but we yeah. live in times. Yeah, we live in times. <laughs> yes, interesting times right now. Um, okay, cool. So what like uh, and then uh, what have you been to any other of the game shows like E3 or anything no. like that? No, I haven't. I have like that was my first con I ever went to. Do you have like do you have ones that like you really want to go to or? Um, I kind of want to go to GDC because okay. I hear that's like a really nice mingle spot. Okay. And um, I actually ended up knowing a lot of just people who develop games just from being a streamer. And uh, one of my one of my friends, um, Will Overgard, he's a former dev guy on the Total War series. So okay. He's like, dude, you need to go to GDC with me, and I'm just gonna. Meet shuffle people. you around and meet people. Meet, <laughs> let you meet people. Yeah, it's a good, it is a good mingle spot. Um, and the thing is, is like it's it's actually gotten to, like there's like a lot of indie devs there, which end up being some really cool opportunities and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it definitely is different from like when it was originally a thing, because um, back when it was like original, it's like no, but like almost it was all game. But it's like I mean all game devs, but it's definitely gotten a little bit more mainstream in that regard. There is a fan hub up here that we do not need to use. We're actually. I just realized that our cable management is almost done, and I didn't have to do anything really. 
this like build is actually really, it's like simpler than it than it's supposed to be normally. So it's like, because we don't have, like anytime you had RGB, you're like, oh, hey, there's a ton of, but then you're like, oh, well, because there's not a lot of RGB, we don't have that much to do. Okay, so we're cable managed. We can get a nice top-down shot of that. Uh, looks good. There's nothing to do. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for your cable management. I think at this point in time, we're gonna turn it over uh, and we're gonna put in your GPU and you're gonna do your peel, that one that we did, because now that the AIO is hooked up, and then that goes from there. So, getting used to switching this thing around. <laughs> and then we'll put the cover, ooh. ooh. That was, oh, that wasn't all the way in. Did this, did that go, did that go in the other way? Uh, I'm not sure, I got it in a little bit. Oh, he, so he didn't go all, see it all the way in. Well, I thought I got it all the way in, and you looked at it. And, okay, nope, it, okay. okay, there we go. I was like, yeah, that came out really easily. You looked at it, so I'm, I I'm passing hey, I'm blame not, on I'm you. Not, I'm not, hit, not judging, not judging, just asking what it, what it felt like. Okay, don't get mad. Okay, don't get mad. Easy, bro. Easy, Easy bro. bro. Easy, bro. Okay, so go ahead and peel this. There we go. Now it's hooked up. Now we have here, in here, we have your Monster Hunter. Oh, that's going to be so. Cover. To go on it. So we got some little dots here. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this over real quick. Put these in the. Well, let's show it off first. Okay, here we go. So yeah, show it off. There we go. Well, actually, I'll let you show it off. There okay. you go. It's your. Look at that. <laughs> you did it so well. You did it so well. Okay, so let's get this here, and then we're going to go ahead and get these placed. So we'll do there. Okay. Seems good. Get our little 3M peel things here. Scared of 3M. I have uh, I've torn many a wall with those command strips. Oh, dude, for sure. <laughs> for sure. It's like there is, apparently there is an art to peeling them off right. Yeah. I just don't know what it is. Well, I had, so I, I had some nano leaves and you put them all together. Yep. And um, I'd kind of, pre-put on some things. I didn't really think about it, but apparently the way I put them up, there was no way to take it down without having to carefully like lift up on one. And yeah, I, I just, ripped. you just, you just ripped it. Yeah. I ripped one. Yeah. At some point in time when we move studios, like I'm like, I'm worried about when I take that Robotech down. Cause it's like, Oh, I think, cause you, you don't want to have those, those, those things showing up everywhere. Right. Mm -hmm. So, okay. There's that one. Get off. Okay, and then this one is coming up. So do you have any, like, have you done any, like, so you talked about some of your favorite things that you've, you've kind of played with, you've got to play with, like, some of your heroes. Do you have any other big collaborations kind of coming up, or do you have people you'd love to collaborate with? Um, you know, I, I haven't really thought about it, because in my mind, there, I mean, who, like, I don't know, what, who, who would want to collaborate with me? You know, when I got the Intel thing, I was like, what? Is it? <laughs> you know, and um, so I haven't really thought about it, but, okay. um, you know, I'm always down to try just some random things, you know, if somebody's, it's like I said, like I told you, you know, if you ever want to play Monster Hunter. Oh, dude. After this. I'm a little, wor like I said, after I'm a little worried after we play this, I'll be like, uh, I need to play this game all the time. I just want to know how well it's going to run on the Steam Deck. Uh, is my question. Okay, so here you go. You got to center it. I'll let you do it. Here we go, guys. Getting that on. It looks like it goes into... It yeah, looks it's like got, it got just, grooves, so... Yeah, so it should just go right over that. Yeah, there's, if I find a way to mess this up, I think we should be concerned about the integrity of this build. Look at that. In like Flynn. Wow, that worked really well. Yeah. No, I mean, that's really cool. That looks really cool. Should stick. Should. And then uh, if you have to rip it off, you have to rip the whole pump off. <laughs> Yeah, just gonna break the whole thing. It's one and done. It's fine. I'm gonna just get... buy another one. <laughs> you're a manager. You're, you're, you're... I don't have that money anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so now let's grab the GPU. So this is a big thing for everybody. So not everybody gets to see these. Now this is a Strix 3060, a beautiful card. Uh, and so we'll let you open that up. I'll scoot this over so we can get a little bit of clearance there and get it going. I'm gonna open my present very carefully. Yeah, yeah, so I don't want to. I don't want to rip things. You gotta enjoy it, right? <laughs> you gotta enjoy it. So what is like? So you talk about this. Like, what is your? Because uh, I always love this. 
like the wholesome Christmas stories. Did you have like a favorite gift you ever got? Like one that like kind of blew your mind when you got it? Like something that was just like, man, that was epic. Um, you know, I, I don't really think I can come up with anything. I, I mean, um, nobody's gotten you the, the best gift yet. Danny, it's up to you. He wrote you a song. <laughs> um, I mean, I think the best one I ever got um, was my mom bought me, uh, bought me my E30 oh, for Christmas. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a nice gift. Yeah, I, uh, you know what's really nutty? I'd only ever played racing games. I dr that E30 was stick. I'd never driven a stick before in my life. I drove it home without ever stalling it. Wow. Okay, Pure, dude. So that's that's Video that's games magical. teach you things. That's magical. Is it, <laughs> and you did it just based off sound, right? Because there's still that whole art of clutch, et cetera, right? Yeah. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. Uh, we need this. That's just like your screw. Yeah, you don't need any of those. That's just stuff they give you extra. Okay, so I'll put this if you want to hand me that. And then once you unwrap it, then we'll put all that other stuff back in it. Yeah, it was, um, it was nice. Um, of course, we found out that apparently there was like a huge rust thing near the, where the battery was. Oh. And uh, had to let her go, but ooh. Okay, ooh. so let's go ahead and do the peel. Ooh. Dude, by the way, this has a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh yeah, no, yeah. A lot. A lot. <laughs> no, no, you don't Wait, understand. Oh, oh god. Oh, there's peels everywhere. Oh really, so there is. By the way, th the reason that we set aside the amount of time we have in the show is just given the sheer amount of peels. Is there peels on this yep. silver stuff? Yep. Oh my god. So you got all, you guys, yeah, you were saying, where's all my peels? Okay. Right here. Do we start all with the, the we, do we start with the big one? Okay, or actually, do we? You know, we could even take this. Again? Take this out of the am way. I, am, I, am I bringing it down again? No, I gotta get it. Okay. And then <laughs> you can start the peel process. Oh, there's one in the back too? Gosh. Oh, there's so many peels. So many peels. So many peels. Okay. Yeah, it is, Sage of Avalon is right. More peel oh. than a banana. And little plugs. Ooh, is that? Ooh, three. My, uh, my current card has two display ports, so I have to run one as an HDMI. So this actually means I get to have my triple. Yep. You can do all this, oh uh, yeah. You can actually run five monitors off of that. What, wait, what? Yeah, because you got three displays. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we need that. Sure we do. <laughs> okay, here we go. He's starting the peels. So many peels. So many peels. For we'll me. be back in three hours, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, one's getting stuck into the screw. Ooh, those are making, There's some, one. They're making some good sounds. Yeah, they're quality. They're, it's, it's funny because I wish we had, uh, I wish we had AIOs there. So I believe we were talking about your first car before I dropped my mic. Oh. <laughs> so my first car was a, I don't, I'm trying to think of what year. It was a uh, Honda Civic, of which I tuned the crud out of. Now, now what, uh, was it like an EK, EF? I do you remember the designation? I don't remember the designation. Dang. So it was, I bought it in, well, I can tell you, I bought it in 2002, and it was new. One of my dream cars if like, you know, it's again, all the money, all the garage space would be a um, 2000 SI hatch or the type R hatch, yeah. uh, the, the EP3 with uh, like championship white, just rolling down, looking like an egg. Yeah, that, I, I remember that car. Um, and I, I thought about getting one, doing like a, you know, like a, a K20 swap or a K24 with a K20 head for like the high compression. I just thought that'd be so. Yeah, that thing gets stuck. Like I usually don't have that problem. I think these rivets are are only on the thirty on the thirty sixty. I don't remember these on the thirty. Some of the higher end ones. This is the first time I've actually seen a thirty sixty version of this card open. I have one. I just haven't been able to open it yet. What got you into Porsches? Uh, you know, it's funny. It's like uh, I think driving one for the first time, right? And then the other thing too is like I, you know, at the time. They really are driving enthusiast cars. Um, and that's, you know, so as somebody who's driven, like I, I, I used to be a huge, uh, huge uh, Japanese auto uh, fan. Uh, and then I had a friend of mine who. Um, Ooh, oh, that's the front. Yep. Trying to get, I, I'm trying to save that one for last. I think, goes that's, I think that's the last one. This okay. should be the last one. Okay. I had a friend of mine who was, uh, okay, here we go. It's going to be quiet for the big peel. 
Oh, such a big, such a good feel. Oh, I just like the sound that makes. Yeah, it makes it, it's such a good sound. Okay, guys, now we get to have the fun part of putting the back. I actually think we're just going to set the back plate on once we get it done. I don't think we're, I don't know if this has a, I don't see that. Oh, I wonder if we have a mount kit for it. Hold on one second. If not, we can just set it on and then we can mount it later. Oh yeah, okay. They got they gave us the little they gave us the little seals and stuff for it. We'll do that later for now and then we'll get it we'll get it on. We'll seal it more se securely later. Okay. But as you can see here, when you look at this, here it is all set up on here. Ooh, you can see. Ooh. Like that's how it's gonna. Ooh. That's how it's gonna look when it's all set up. And I sudden. get a sheesh. Yeah. It's gonna look just like that, which is gonna look really, really good. So that's how it's gonna look. And then we'll have it lit up with the RGB and all that stuff as well. <laughs> Actually, what we do need to do probably is let's go ahead and add a couple dots just to, so it stays on when we actually. We'll add we'll two dots just to hold it on until. Okay. Couple little dots. Whoa, well, all those dots just, this is like stuck. <laughs> okay, there we go. Just add a couple dots. We'll just do. Now, is there a specific place where you should put them? Uh, you know, all in all, like, I, I have a tendency to do the corners and then around the power and then just a couple around the things. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't take a lot. The other thing, too, is some of these, like, especially on, like, 3080s and stuff like that, they have active back plates. So there's probably more. Uh, active there's probably, back plates. What's so that mean? For cooling, the, the, there's, like, actual things on the back of the back plate. So it's for cooling. Stuff. Really? Yeah. So they have um, their own piping and like heat sinks and stuff? On a 3090, yeah. Wow. There's actual stuff. So like uh, memory and stuff like that. So it's a little bit more of an issue on higher end cards. But on these, it's not that big of a deal. Have you ever worked with a 3090? Oh, T yes. Or like, what about a 3090 Ti? Uh, they're not out yet. Not yet? Yeah. So okay. they started the announce. They were supposed to be out in March. And then uh, it, uh, NVIDIA just kind of went dark on it. So we're still mm. waiting for more information. So, okay. Come on, these peels. Let go. <laughs> let go. Okay, there. Let go. Okay, there's one. Just to hold it in there. There's two. There we go. And the worst part's trying to get it off your finger afterwards. Yeah, I know. It's like actually <laughs> everything else is fine. It's like the okay, there's three. And last one. Okay. Four. Okay. <laughs> Cause it's like the 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 thing lines up perfectly with Yeah. The sticker, you know what I mean? Like you want it to look. Yeah. That is bonkers. So I didn't even I didn't even really know they did stuff like this. This is way beyond anything. Yeah. Oh. It can't be dirty. We just took the peel off. Yeah. No. It's like it's. I think I. Maybe no. It's, We're not hitting a hole accidentally and like. No. No. Okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. It's on. Looks good. There it is. Okay, let's get. We'll do the rest later. It, like I said, it's one thing just to kind of test it for the sake, and then we'll get it more secure later. Okay. Okay. What's that? Measure twice, cut once. Cut. Yeah. Measure, measure thirty times, cut fifteen times. Just have a lot of extra no, at the same time. No, not time. fifteen times. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to cut fifteen times, something went wrong. Yeah. You're like, oh, you're just overzealous. No, you're, you're right. Something did go wrong. Okay, uh, if you want to grab that up, I'm going to put this one thing away. How would you like me facing onto it? the? Go ahead and lay it down. Because okay. this is the one thing where your height, since you're tall, uh, your height is definitely going to help you tremendously on this part. Because we're going to seat our GPU. Okay. And do you remember which screws you need to remove to seat your GPU? No. Okay, I shall. Shall point that out in just a second. So if you want to remove this, oh, those this on the okay, yeah. So you want to move this one and this one. The top one and then the third one. No, no, the second one and the hmm. second one and the. Okay, second and third. I do better with numbers. <laughs> Uh, oh, I might need a screwdriver or something. Okay, so we are going to be running another code here in a second, and you guys will be seeing that popping up in just a moment. Do we have a screwdriver? Oh, yes, of course you do. 
<clears throat> and it's game bundle. Now, the reason we're saying, hey, Roby, what, what, why game bundle? Well, actually, there are some game bundles that you can purchase uh, that are eligible with certain Intel CPUs that will actually allow you to get games like Monster Hunter Rise. So when you purchase certain 12th gen or uh, Intel CPUs, uh, you can use uh, get game bundles, which includes the game you love so much. Yeah. So I oh. will need a smaller one because I need to remove this to get to that. And there's a link in the chat showing up right now that shows you that information. So you're going to remove that? Yeah, I got to remove this, I, I believe. No, to... actually what you're going to have to remove is actually this all together okay. and then we'll pop it out. Okay. So just, it's just one of those little extra steps we're going to have to go through. Oui, oui, mon capitaine. Oh, Tuner Mom. Bye, Tuner Mom. Bye, Tuner Mom. She had to go. Bye-bye. Yeah, my, uh, my grandma also comes into every stream, basically. Mom, not, not, not too many times, but grandma like, literally comes in every stream. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Lava Mama 47. That's her, that's her thing? That's yes. pretty cool. Yeah. Did, was, Sometimes what, I'll call her on stream and yeah. like turn up the volume and put on speakers so that they can hear. Everybody can hear? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and grab, yep, that one right there. I love my grandma. Well, who doesn't? Yeah, we're currently, for people asking, we are currently at Intel Studios is where we're building this today. Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. Now, this isn't the, oh, look, it's still stuck on my finger. <laughs> Jerk. Get Free rides. Okay. Here we go. Now, this, we're going to run through the back here, but the way that you, have you remember how to seat this? Yeah. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, just go ahead and pop it in there. Maybe. There we go. Yeah, it's always like a little. Is it in? Just a little bit of trepidation. Oh, yeah, don't blame you. It's, you know, these cards are almost impossible to get. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to let you double check. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Push that, that looks, down. No, it looks good. Okay, cool. Now, what you can do is go ahead and put the screws back in. Okay. Why don't we get this one first? Then we'll run our. And then we're going to run our. Put our little cable thing back on. Then we'll, oh, actually, we'll run our cable extensions. So what about you? Who, who's, the, who's the weirdest or coolest person you've ever worked with? You know what? So there was this guy on the stream mm -hmm. uh, that I was on today, uh, and his name was Just Tuner. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> No, honestly, this has been a lot of fun. I like it just because uh, you and I have so much in common. Um, so it's just fun to kind of, okay, so we'll leave, yeah, let's leave this out real quick. I'm trying to remember where I even, <laughs> did I put that somewhere or did you take it's, it? It's right here. Okay. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. That was fair, fair, fair giving nervousness. Uh, we'll go from there. Uh, let's see, uh, let's, what do we got to do now? Um, we got to, let's go ahead and, Run, we got to run this, so this is your last cable for the build. Okay. That's going to run up to this spot up here. So we're going to see if it actually, we can run it that way. I'm hoping we can. I hope it, this seems like it's really long. Oh, good. That's Ooh. beautiful. Good. That's what we want. Okay, so we're going to run this through here. So it's just out of here. And then we can cover that cable. We'll do that cable thing. Okay. Ugh. You get a lot of lifting with this case. And it's 40 pounds. That's how much this thing weighs. We've got to pump. Yeah, we got you to, up. We got to do something. <laughs> My lord. Okay, so we're just gonna get that running that through and just making sure that's nice and tight. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is, why you can see here is we're gonna run this back up. Okay. So we end up here. Okay. And so then, just kind of hiding the length behind the case. Yeah, exactly. So it looks pretty, right? You want it to look pretty. I mean, are you gonna show? You think you'll be able to see the build on the stream? You think at some point in time or? Um. You know, I don't know if there's anybody that would, I mean, it's possible. I'll have to ch check with the chat. I mean, you guys can let me know. Is there anybody who wants me to have a PC cam? Ooh. Just like sitting in the corner, you know? <laughs> I, feel, I feel like it'd be, I feel, I feel like it'd be like good for a little while, but then afterwards people would be like, can we get rid of the PC cam? Or, you know, I've seen people who have it, like, behind them in the background. Right, yeah. But um, I'm actually not really much of a, a face cam streamer, as you probably figured That's, out. That's, yeah, that, yes, I did learn that. So is there a reason why, or just? Um, no, not, 
particularly. Um, you know, just didn't turn it off one day and never kind of turned it back on. I actually, uh, I don't know, I, I turned it back on for the Intel thing. And people were like, oh my God, I've never seen you. I'm like, wow, there's people who haven't been here long enough to remember what I look like. We actually had a guy, we did the Creator Challenge one, and yeah. uh, we had a guy who did his reveal like his face reveal mm -hmm. on that thing. Like people had never seen what the guy looked like. Wow. And so I was like, okay. Do you think has it do you think it do you think not being seen has hurt slash helped you or I think it hurts. Oh really? I think it hurts. But why, so why why continue to do it then? Um comfortable. It's okay. just, it's nice. I mean I can sit back in my chair. I can, you know, just mute the mic, blow my nose real quick and not have to wear like Right. So yeah, you're it's just comfortable. Yeah. So, and then the other, do you, so let me ask you this. Do you eat on stream? Like, even though you No, don't, I do not eat okay. in front of my keyboard. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I keep that. And I, I also wash my hands like four or five times a stream. I'll just like, hey guys, I'll be right back. I'll just go in. Go and wash your hands. Wash my hands. Okay. So. Okay, that is done. So let's get this, let's get this bar remounted since we have everything else done. Okay. And then we're going to do our cable extensions Ooh. and then get all this other stuff done. Okay, so that's done. It's just kind of sitting on there right now. That's fine. Let's grab our, what did we do with it? I put it uh, it's over here. here. I just saw it. That's oh, right here. Oh. Okay, so we got our GPU sag bracket, oh. which comes with it. What is that? This is the cable thing that we, we had. Oh. We're just going to get this remounted back on. And so there should be two screw holes. I'm gonna have you screw those in. So here's two screws. I think these are it, you think, maybe? maybe. Yeah, they look like. You know better than I would. No, yeah, that looks like. Give them a test thread. Those are really long. Okay, yeah, let's try these. Let's, I think these are, because they're different and the other ones are for the bottom, I'm, I'm guessing those are it. Okay, do you have the long screw? The long screw? The long, uh, the lo your long screwdriver. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Important, important information there. So you Excalibur. should- Excalibur. Uh, so it's gonna be right up here. Okay, I don't think you're high enough yet. Because there's, there's a slot for it, so keep going. Oh, hold it right there. Okay. Yeah, it's going in, so I think we're- no, I so think that yeah, it's gonna go. I think right to there. Okay. Now? Or does it not want to go there? Here, why don't you look real quick? Is it so? Do we want it in this space, or do we want it more in here? I don't think it really matters. I think it's it's movable. Okay. Right. So I mean, right now, can I go more left? Yeah, think, you can go left and right. You I think actually right there would be great. Can we put it right there? Uh, so it's real close to that, which I believe, with if it gets too close, it'll just pop right through. But okay. just tight, tighten it down right now. Tighten down for now and just see what. Oh, yes, yeah, see, it's wanting to go through. Yeah, it's one, yep. Oh, I see, okay. Oh, I see, oh, it looks like I could even just. Yeah, you could have just left the things on. I, I could just leave the things on, there we go. That'll make it easier here. If you want to hand me the other one, I'll slip. Then we can swipe it through and then you can move it over left and right. We're learning here about how this whole thing works. Okay, so this one goes in the bottom here. Yeah. And this one goes in the top. More over to your left. Get that one. In. Okay, there's that one. And yep, up, up, up. There you go. Okay, and then we can just put it a little bit right, just like that, and then tighten it down. Okay. Want it over a little bit more? There you go. Actually, you might want to go. Okay, well, I can untighten yeah, it. Yeah, you want to loosen that? Can you go more left, actually? Uh, it's starting to hit the hole there, and that's what the same problem we had last time, where I tightened it and it just squeezed it out. Okay, so we'll go. So it, so this is the far, it's on the right. Okay, cool. There you go. Then we'll push it over. There you go. Okay. So we're just getting that in just to get it set. <laughs> I got it. It's good. It's okay, good. Cool. It didn't fall out or anything. So that's how you know I'm from the Midwest. And I, oop. 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 Is that a Midwest thing? Uh, apparently. You're people like, have told, well, no, people have told me it's like a Midwest thing where you, it's like, I'm just going to reach on by there. Oop, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now now that's covered. So now we can't see anything there. So like we've got the, and then all we've got down here is the is the uh, PSU. This is the PSU shroud. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and take a three minute break. Uh, just let us get some water, and then we'll be back and uh, go from there.
Uh, got a little bit of drink, got prepared, <laughs> and now we're going to basically we had to choose. We had to make an important artistic decision. Yes. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be uh, choosing the color for the cables, and he went with purple. Uh, and so we're going to be doing purple cable extensions here. Um, and then should you ever decide to like, if you ended up upgrading your GPU, then you can add like white. So it felt like a good mixture. So we're going to be doing purple cables here, which I think are going to look super sweet uh, in this case. And why did we go purple? Uh, because Magna Malo, the flagship of Rise, is um, a purple and kind of like a tan. It's supposed to be like bone, but right. it's, it's purple. He's a purple guy. It's a purple guy. So purple, purple guy. guy, we got some purple, we got some blue. We got all sorts of different colors. Look at that. Oh. Okay, so you have two options for cable combs as well. We've got shiny purple or solid purple. Solid purple. Solid purple it is. Okay, so here we go. Solid purple. Here is all our cables for our little cable extensions. So we need for this, we need our 24 pin. We need our. I've heard this is the most fun part. Is putting in that's, the yeah. Let's 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 use that. Let's go with yeah. Let's go with this is the most fun part. There's your purple thing, and then we'll need our CPU cable, which is right there. So those are the only three cables we'll need for this build. Okay. So we'll save the rest. I'm going to show you how to put these on, because you get to get you get to share the joy here, buddy. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put this off to the side here. So this is going to go in like that. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is dump out our cable combs. Ooh, look at all those cable combs. <laughs> so cable combs. Okay, and then uh, what you do is for you're going to make sure the Asia horse is the right direction, mm -hmm. and you're going to basically pop this into every single one of those. Okay, and then you're going to do that four times. Four times. Four times. And then while you're doing that, I will do the other couple. So this one is going to go right here. These, I love the color of, I like the purple. It's just a royal purple, which is just a nice color. My, yeah, because I was telling you, you know, my, my Dreamy 30 would be that Techno Violet. Oh, that's which right, is, that's right. Which, which is, is purple. Is this more like this color, or is it like a little brighter? So Techno Violet is a dark, smoky, metallic purple. Right. And uh, it's gorgeous. I've so have you, like, uh, what do you think of like? So it's funny because like I think for cars, um, I've also like started to become really fond of like flat wrapped cars, like super yeah. nice flat colors. <laughs> so I've I've always joked that if there's any game company that wants, I will like you got to pay for it. But I will <laughs> drive around with my car wrapped in your game. Oh really? Oh yeah. Any game. You know, as long with, as with, 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 it's like, yeah, like you know, within, you within know, reason. not, you know, not like, uh, you know, something naughty. Inappropriate, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like, like if Barbie Horse Adventure calls, can somebody get Barbie Horse Adventure on the line? Because like we got a potential advertising opportunity here. Well, it was a joke that like in Kitchen Impact, uh, I was thinking about wrapping my car in that Noel character from right. the emotes. Of course, they never got back. They to never you. got back to you. Child, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. We're, Train's we're, gone. It's not coming back to the station. I don't know if there is, is there a quality AAA My Little Pony? I do know Barbie Horse Adventure was like an actual like game. So I'm trying to say, I don't know if there actually was a, a My Little Pony game, but I do know that there was a Barbie game. Um, I'm trying to think of other ones that like might be optional. Like Demon Souls would be pretty rad. Well, see, like there's actually a couple of really cute characters in uh, Monster Hunter Rise. You know, Capcom, if you want me to get a Minoto rap, Minoto and Hinoa wrap, I'll do it. Do you think you have anybody who could uh, actually design the, like the, what the wrap would look like, or would you need them to do that too? I, I know a couple people who could design it. Uh, I know a couple of artists on Twitter. A couple of artists on Twitter. Okay, so you're, we're looking like a really good opportunity here, Capcom. Yeah. If they want to jump in on this. Oh, Capcom, come on. Come on, Capcom. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you up to? Oh, that purple pop is so beautiful. And of course, um, I know I know, a, I know a couple of the guys. Uh, the uh, English, the American CM is uh, Yuri, and uh, the UK. Oh my God, it's it's dropping off. Uh, we just got a new United Kingdom's uh, community manager for Monster Hunter. Okay, he's a super cool guy. I worked him, with him on a on a different game before, but uh, I'm just blanking on his name name right now. Well, uh, Jono, Jono Vanguard. Okay. Well, we, something we're not blanking on is the next code that we're going to do for the giveaways that are happening right now, and that is the Mathalos Nest. 
Oh, okay, okay. I was like, I was like, I thought it was ma I thought it was having to do with your math stuff. Mathalo's nest. Okay, so explain that one for people who so, aren't aware. One of the flagship, or probably the most iconic monster, or at least one of them, of Monster Hunter is the Rathalos. Oh yes. And it's just Rathalos, but instead of Rathalos, it's Mathalos. And that's you. And that's us. You're the Mathalos. Yeah. But nobody's defeated you yet. <laughs> Are you a tempered Mathalos? Uh, I am a silver Mathalos. <laughs> I'm a Dread King Mathalos. He's a Dread King Mathalos. Uh, what color would a Mathalos be? Um, is it going to be red like the Rathalos? Purple. Or? Purple. Pur yeah. Purple. It feels like this all fits. It's like there's a theme going on here, guys. <laughs> well, cause actually, I really did think about that for a while because uh, each tier in the Mathalos nest, like every tier, okay. has a color associated with it. And not probably a lot of people know this by now, but every color is supposed to be associated with a Rathalos or Rathian color. Oh, really? I, my mods are mod Rathians. They're green. Jinx and I are um, blue, like the Azure Wrath. The speedrunners were silver, like the Silver Wrath. The subs were gold, uh, like gold Rathian. Um, yeah, like everybody had their own Wrath, wrath color. Is, uh, is Danny gold for fries? <laughs> he's the fry, 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 fry wrath? No, wrath? Danny, Danny is, is pink because he's a, he's a moderator. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that seems like it. That seems like, Danny, you need to get your own color. I mean, you have your own song, dude. You know, this is really weird. I got done with this before you finished yours, and every single one that I've seen, these guys are still working on those, and you're just... Yeah, I, yeah. I, was, uh, I think I was playing around more than anything, but I also added a lot more for some reason. I, don't, I think I really overdid it. How but, many is, like, ideal? Uh, so usually on those, I'll do three, but because this is a different case, like, I'm kind of guessing. Um, so I added, like I said, and then we had that we... Uh, we're we're going to... It's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, and then I even did it backwards, too, Roby. This so. is... I've never actually seen what these do before. I didn't, like, it just stays there like that. Yeah, and that's, that's actually the material that it's with, too, so, um, wow. yeah. Wow. Huh. No, I don't have any cable combs in my case, so yes, it's Yes, cable just... combs actually make a, they, I mean, they really <laughs> do, um, but, uh, they, and they really improve the way it looks. Yeah. Uh, I am going to, wh why don't you go ahead and set that down then, set the okay. case down? Uh, and then lay it on its back, and then what we're going to do is have you plug in. So like, uh, so no, sorry, sorry, the other way. So, up. So you can see, yeah, bo. Yes. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And then go ahead and oh, mobo up. I thought you said bobo up, and that's why I was confused. I was like, <laughs> what is that? Uh, and then uh, yeah, go ahead and plug. That'll go in right there, and then run it through that little slot right there. And you can see those nice little pops of purple. It's amazing what a little bit of color does to how a build looks. Uh, then it should just be able to fit nicely in there. I'm trying to find a. I'm trying to we'll, go through, but. You might have to pick it up and pull yeah, it. Yeah, I want to. I want to pick it up. Go ahead and do that. Okay. Yep. Yep. Go ahead and do that. While I, I'm completely redoing this this whole strand here. Strand gaming. So yeah, you might have to like undo a zip tie. Uh, no, like, we're good. We're good. Got it through. Have you ever played Death Stranding? I have. Okay, so here's the thing. I've used it a lot for uh, I've used it a lot for um, just showing performance numbers because it was like a it's a really great looking um, PlayStation game. Mm -hmm. But I like have watched the intro probably 20 times really? and then walked down the ravine to get to the city and then that's where I've stopped every time. So I haven't played more than that. Um, I have this like weird aversion to that game, just given how like the baby thing and I, like. And the Kaji like, and yeah. I, like, I, I've liked Kojima, and I loved him when he did uh, like uh, Metal Gear. But like, this just felt like Kojima just like went off the deep end. So I haven't played it yet, and I know a lot of people have said it was really good. And yeah, Norman Reedus and the Funky Fetus. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Did you did you play, did you play through it? No, I, oh. I, I, <laughs> I was like, so same you're not thing. Just, yeah. Same thing. I just look at the baby, and I'm like, you know, I'm like, I'm just like, what, like. Yeah, and like it was like I remember at E3 it won all these awards, and I was like, does anybody actually understand what this game is about? And uh, so I know some people like Mike Ybarra, other ones who who have played through it and said it's really good. And like at some point in time, I'll get well, probably you never will with the amount of our like the size of your like our piles of shame. But yeah, it's one of those things that I think it'd be good. Has anybody else played it? Just curious, chat thoughts. Death Stranding, you know you played it. Is it awesome? 
Are we wrong with the on the fetus? <laughs> like, what are you doing? He's <laughs> he's laughing. Chat thoughts, but chat knows what I mean. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Not a spoiler. The credits for Death Stranding are two hours long. Oh God, really? Wow. That's well, almost I mean, I as played... long as like is uh, that's almost as long as Connect Star Wars. I played a. Uh... I played Metal Gear Solid 4, which was like the whole credits was like a movie. But <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Uh, yes, it was. But I mean, like, honestly, I will tell you the beginning of Metal Gear Solid 2, um, like, especially on the PlayStation, it was like, it felt like you were playing a movie. I was like, oh, this feels so good. And then he, j I just, I don't know, it just got worse from there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, people are like, it's, it's so funny though. Like, look at how like uh, polarizing it is. It's like, people are like, uh, people are like, I love it, and then everybody else is like, it's weird. And so it's like, it seems like, I don't know, there's a group of people. I don't remember if it actually did well. Um, so what What is your first video game that you ever played? That you, do you remember? Oh, yeah. Uh, the first game that I ever played, like I remember, was uh, a game called Loom. Loom? Yeah. It was, uh, it was, on, uh, it was on a, um, it was uh, on a friend of mine, it was on a friend of mine, Luke's PC. It's part of the Golden Age of Sierra games. It's a it's a Sierra Adventure game. Okay. Um, but the first one that I then uh, finally got my own PC when my parents got us our own PC, which the PC was my first platform. Uh, I played a game called Red Baron, uh, and then a game called Battle of Britain, and those were like, and then a game called Stellar Seven. And this is like way way back in the day. Uh, and then I ended up saving all my money to get a Sound Blaster and play Wing Commander, uh, which was like another one. And then, uh, so big PC gamer until I got my first Nintendo. And then my first Nintendo game, obviously besides Mario, because you play that at everybody's house, was a game called Bionic Commando. So oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's like, so those were, those were kind of my like era of games when I was like, when I was young. So, so wait, so GameCube was your first... Console? No, no, game NES, the original Nintendo. Oh, the NES, the Bionic NES, Command. Oh. yeah, the original. Like you want to talk, so like it's funny. If you want to talk about, it's so like go beat that game. Like those games were like punishing and just long and hard because you couldn't save. Did like, you, you had... ever beat Battletoads? Oh yeah, beat Battletoads. <laughs> we beat. I beat uh, another one, Blaster Master. These games, and then Mega Man. Like beat. I like games that like nowadays. I'm like I play this. I was like this thing is freaking hard. Um, but they really were Twitch, right? So yeah. <clears throat> One of my, uh, I, the first video games I ever played is kind of some blur, probably, you know, Pokemon Red right. and Blue, but the one I remember the most vividly was Mega Man Legends on the PS1. Oh, okay. Because in the first level of that game, there is a dark, I mean, we're talking like 30 seconds into the game. There's a dark hallway and you can't see anything in it. All you hear is just the sound of this robot, like, Right. And you look up, and there's just this robot spider walking across the ceiling back and forth. And uh, what it does is it jumps down on you as you walk down. It's a total Dark Souls moment. Right. And um, yeah, I, I did not get past that first 30 seconds of the game for years. Really? Years. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> So I actually did. So uh, the guy who designed the character, well, lead designer, um, and now my name just escapes. His name just escapes me, just like you you had with the mod. Uh, we did Recore with him. Mm. And so, uh, but he was the original designer of Mega Man. Um, so it was really cool to get to go meet him. I mean, it's funny because it's like you were talking about people that you've got to meet or cool things with. Most of my stuff has been on the game side and not as much on uh, the streaming side. I mean, but don't get me wrong. I mean, the problem is, is that like, I think with stuff like Mod Monday, because I've done things like I've got to do things with like, you know, uh, the What's Inside guys, right? With uh, with um, Lincoln and Dan, or hanging out with ZHC. We did like we've done builds with Dead Mouse, and so it's just that stuff has been things. It's just like I never expected that to be stuff that we do, um, but it's just been you know, like people wanted to learn. Apparently, people wanted to learn Monster Hunter. Same thing as a lot of people want to build PCs, right? <laughs> so, which is actually pretty cool. Um, but yeah, no, I like doing stuff like this because you just get to meet people and talk to them and get to know them. Guys, what do you guys think about today's stream? Like, how many of you guys have like just really enjoyed getting to know uh, uh, Tuner? One second, I see somebody. I need to. Skoy, hi Skoy. Who's who? Scoge Skull. It's Skoy Skull. He's a dork. He's a dork. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like, I just really needed to say hi. Take this moment right here yeah. uh, to jump in. Okay, so this is... Like we're ready to just basically plug in your PSU cables at this point in time. Okay. So now it's time to flip this over, hopefully one last time for now, and get all our PSU stuff plugged in. And the good thing is, is the PSU just sits right in this okay. open compartment right here. Nice. And then we'll go from there. Yeah, pretty much nice. Nice. Okay, that looks good. Mine, 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 mine. Okay, there we go. Dude, what do you guys think? Top down, blue, purple? I think you did good, kid. I think you did good. I think it's gonna look really nice when everything else is all kind of in. Oh, we have a we have, you know what we forgot? Hmm. You have hard drives. Oh, and they go right here in cages. In cages. So we want to we want to basically get to do the hard drive. Almost forgot about that. <laughs> okay, uh, and we got our next code also coming up. Speaking of hard drives, Swole made. You're laughing. Um. So that character of my emotes is. Uh, She's a Favonius knight in training, but she works as a maid uh, for like the for like a church, I guess. Um, <laughs> but you know, Fav knights are like a, right. a holy knight, so. Um, and uh, <laughs> she's seen as she's seen by the creators as a healer, and uh, I just pump those numbers up until they start doing damage. <laughs> so she's the she's the swole maid. So, you, so this is like a character that you just took outside of what it was actually made for. Yeah. Um, when they put her in the trials, they um, they give her like a healer set, and they'll give her a, like a support role for another character or something. Right. And they're just like, yeah, use this character as a healer. No, 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 no. no. no you're you're like, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna use it, and the way that that I intended it to, <laughs> and not the way that you intended it to. Yes. Is basically your point. Yes. Uh, to, to quote a, a favorite of mine, uh, I substitute your reality. I reject your reality and substitute my own. That's awesome. And so, what? I mean, I'm assuming when you pumped up all those numbers, though, she wasn't an effective. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, oh. In wow. AOE situations, she especially was... now that they've introduced a weapon and an armor set, she's actually in like. I mean, I wouldn't say like top ten, but she's pushing up there. Oh, so it's like she's. Oh, okay. How many? And how many? How many characters are there in that game? Thirty. Uh, okay. Maybe. Is is that and is that one of the kind of things? It's like it's always adding new. Yeah. Okay. It's trying to add a new one like every month or two. Okay, so we're gonna run because we forgot, and then you want to also run one more for an SSD. That was something that was important. Okay, cool. So we'll make sure that we run an extra for that. So this will be for the SSD. Apparently, there's forty-eight. Wow. Oh, wow, okay. More so that, than I thought. That's more than you thought. Okay, yeah. so we're going to run this through the bottom compartment, and then we'll take this other one, and this will be for your hard drive. So we'll have both of those pre-run like we said we would. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So that's good. So we got that done. We'll hook those up when we turn it over and hook everything else up. Cable manage those little things. Let's grab your PSU now if you want to go grab that. Now, is there RGB on this? You know what? I don't think so. I think it's maybe the light. What? Maybe the maybe the the logo lights up, and there is a window for it, which is actually pretty cool. So, because they got the window in the yeah right thing. here. Yeah. Wait, what is this? That's all your cables. Oh. 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 Have you ever seen Small Soldiers? Small? No. The movie you, Small Soldiers. No. Dang it. What, what is, is that one about? So, uh, I mean, it's about like. Uh, a, uh, a technology company that made smart toys, and basically they become way too smart and try to take over a town. But oh. there's a scene in there where the guy has, he's like, oh wow, there's the chip is like create, way too strong. It's military grade and it's making the toys like kill people. And the guy t has a little ball in his hand and he goes, oh. And the guy's like, what do you mean, oh? Because he's the guy that did it. And he's like, you know, just. Oh, and he has this little, this little expanding ball, and he just, oh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's something you'd have to see. I, and it makes me sad, because every time I try to make that joke, it's like, Everybody's like, what? What's small soldiers? I never heard of that. OK, so let's, we'll take this out, because we're, oh, okay. we're going to put this in your extras for you. You let me know what I need to keep out. OK, and then we'll figure out what you need out of there. you got to smell it. That's a thing. How does it smell? Take it in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is. It is. It definitely doesn't have like the, the nicest smell for sure. 
Well, well it, it depends. Like, uh, so certain certain PSUs actually don't smell so bad. No, smell I like mean that's real... not a. I mean, you want? Have you smelled this one before? I have not. Well, yes, I have smelled this one before, but we should. We need to do it. It's not bad. No, that actually doesn't smell like anything. That's yeah. a pretty pretty mild on the smell meter. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. It's like where is our? Okay, so you have some some options here to help buff it up if we want to. Uh, so when you get later on, if you like, want to make it look a little bit buff more bling up. bling up your okay. your your PSU. Okay. There's an option. That's not something I had considered at some <laughs> point that you could bling it up. Bling a CP. Or Why would you GP. not want to blue? PSU. That's what I meant. <laughs> Why would you not want to bling it up? Okay. So what? Uh, let's grab our cables. Okay. Of which there are many. Yes, there are. Okay, so here's our first one. So we'll, we, because you have a couple hard drives, we'll make sure that this, we get the right cables out of this. Yeah. Okay, so we'll need Molex, no, ew. <laughs> Sata, yes. You know, it's, uh, I used to live across the street from the Molex center. Really? Yeah. Uh, so a fun fact about Nebraska is that it is one of the only states in this union. Wait, wait, hand me the, no, the case, sorry, the bag. I'm just getting the bag. Yep. So keep, yeah, there you go. Uh, one of the only states in this union is considered to not have an accent. Really? Right. And uh, so a lot of U.S.-based call centers are based in Nebraska. Verizon's national call center is, Molex is there, Cabela's was there. And um, yeah, I could look out my window from my apartment and see the Molex sign. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. So Nebraska, I did not know that Nebraska, so is, is, the, is Nebraska state thing, no, we have no accent? It, mostly in the Lincoln and Omaha area. Oh. But, uh, you know, because, you know, there's the rural. Like, oh, my, yeah. my grandmother says George Washington. Oh. That's but. definitely, that's definitely, that's definitely an accent for sure. Yeah. Washington. Yeah. And uh, so people from Washington will say, uh, I don't have an accent. And so I ask them to say tree. And they'll say tree. And it's, so basically they say it with a C-H. Oh, tree? Yeah, tree. Instead of tree? Or like dragon. They'll say dragon with a G. And it's these small little things. Oh, that's stuff I didn't know. Okay, let's see what this one is. This one we don't need. I'm gonna plug it in anyway, um, because if you ever upgrade your GPU, so that way you have the extra connectors for that. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, that this looks is important. your 24 pin, yep. <laughs> that looks important. That's important. Dragon, I don't even know. I guess I never even thought about that. CPU? Because according to, according to Peanuts, all of the adults after point just sound like this. That's <laughs> pretty much how we sound. Okay, and then this is another one we don't need, and then this is your second CPU we don't need. Second CPU? Yeah. Are there computers that have two CPUs? No, no. This is like if you wanted to do overclocking, like mad overclocking oh. or anything like that, you have that option. You don't necessarily need it. I, I had to think about that for a second. Okay, sure. Yeah, you're like, oh yeah. No, you there are PCs that will like can you can do dual rigs inside of a stuff inside of a case and stuff like that as I've well. I've seen one that was every it was an Xbox, a PlayStation and Big O. It's called Big O. Yeah. yeah. Made by Origin PC. Okay, so that one is CPU, so go ahead and plug that into CPU or optional right there. Okay, Big O. Have you ever seen Big O? Oh yes. And oh, yes, I have seen Big yes. O. So and then that one's gonna go right there and right there. It's kind of splits. Yep. Do you have like a favorite anime? Yes, I like Robotech. Hold on. See, Skoy, this is how you do it. You ask people what their favorite anime is. Sorry, he'll get that joke. Okay, so then you have two of these, and these are peripheral. Yeah, so Robotech, Robotech. <laughs> what, so why did you pick Robotech over Gundam? Uh, because I like, I, was, I wanted to be a fighter pilot in Veritech Fighters, right? So I liked, that's why I chose that over. And then this one is going to go VGA one. So yeah, that was I think all in all like uh, yeah. I mean it's just it, that's where it was. And then I like mecha anime more than pretty much most of the other ones, right? So mm -hmm. from uh, in terms of uh, in terms of anime stuff. Now this one's going to be interesting because this we have all sorts of room to basically put this in. You just get to kind of set it down. You want this. You want the. Yeah. Fan pointed down. Okay, so we want it in like this. Yep, and then I'll just kind of take, it's like a, you know, it's like Rapunzel's hair. <laughs> Rapunzel, Rapunzel. Rapunzel, lay down here. Then we're just like gonna kind of set it down in there. Rapunzel, then Rapunzel. You, wanna, you should have some, uh, you should have some holes to screw these in with Excalibur over on this side. They should just be lined up for you. Now see, it, now see, 
Rapunzel, Rapunzel, don't drop down your hair. Drop it real low. <laughs> drop it like it's hot? Drop it like it's drop hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. It does look like a tentacle master. You are absolutely right. It does look a little bit like that, but it is not a tentacle master. There is actually a purpose uh, to all of these individual ones. Now, the cool thing about the shroud here is that we will be able to kind of hide a lot of these uh, after we connect them, and then I'll come over once everything's connected on the back side, and then we'll hide them nicely uh, inside of uh, the bottom part of the case. Oops. So when you, with as travel and stuff is going in there, so did, did you get to go to PAX or any of those other ones? No. Like, no? Yeah, you're not one to align right. Okay, do you want me to, can I hold it up or? Yeah, I think it needs to go Which, up. which direction? Up. up just a smidge. I was like, I'm trying to even figure out if that's a hole that I can drill into or if it's. Okay, let's, we should maybe, okay, well, let's do this then. If it's having prompt. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I think we'll we do it this way. way. Sometimes it just helps to put it the right way. Yeah. What is this sitting on? Oh, it's sitting on this cable. There you go. Because I'm looking at it, and there it is, I think. Should be one in the corner for sure. So you haven't got to do packs yet, which is, you, you talked about moving to Seattle and all the things that you wanted to have happen didn't happen. Yeah. So, uh, so you, PAX isn't one of them. What are, you know, so it, it, as things kind of start to tra get travel, starts to hopefully open up, I mean, you're here now. Um, you talked about GDC. What are some of the other things that you'd like to do? Um, if TwitchCon is coming back, which apparently it is this year, I'm absolutely going to try You're to actually going to do that, okay. Because I would love to go to TwitchCon as a partner, if not just for the free stuff. Okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. Uh, do, now, you guys get, like, swag drops pretty regularly there, right? Uh, what do you mean? Don't you get like like a partner hoodie and all this other stuff, or no? I got a Christmas thing. Uh, they gave me, and I'm not even kidding, they gave me a thing of Connect Four. Oh, okay, yeah, I think I saw some people do that. And play some them. socks that did not fit my, 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 my big body. Well, uh, they're supposed to go on your feet. They're not supposed to go on your big body, so that yeah. may have been a problem. Uh, <laughs> Tuner not... needs a wow stick. We don't have the wow stick here. I'm not seeing a place I can put it because it's not lining up. I think I think we you might have to loosen it and then so we might be too tight. Hold on, let me see real quick. Sorry, I'll switch you places real quick. Yeah. Yeah, we should be able to hit four easily. Yeah, there's usually one right here. You're absolutely right. And then that those are just in holes. But let me just see. We loosen it a little bit. We can uh... Let's see if we can get a shift here. Now, can you explain to me what the, what, you know, because I've seen bronze rated, silver rated, gold rated PSUs. Yep. And I have no idea. <laughs> I've, I always assumed gold is the best. Unless so there's... no, there's actually platinum and titanium. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So apparently there's just not a hole down there. Okay. There just really isn't. So it's, I mean, it's fine. It's in. So. Um, so that rating is has to do with the efficiency of the power supply. Okay. And and so uh, as a uh, as a PSU is uh, goes up in rating, it's the efficiency that it has uh, between a certain rate. And so like this is eighty percent efficient, and then they have titanium and platinum is actually higher. And then the other thing too is that the rating is also for the uh, uh, a lot of the other components and stuff like that. There's a bunch that kind of goes into a rating. Now, to be honest, it's all being kind of redefined because, you know, honestly, uh, there's been some kind of some some fudging from companies in terms of that stuff. So mm -hmm. I think we're going to see a reevaluation of what that was. It was a little murky in terms of what gold, platinum, and titanium was. I would never recommend going below gold because at least that, that one had a stringent standard. The other's not necessarily nearly as much. What purpose would you need a titanium power rating for? So, I mean, a lot of it has to do, it's like, a lot of it has to do with how reliable in terms of the type of power that's coming out of across the rails and stuff like that, uh, fluctuations and things like that. So if you're like, in terms of, I mean, in terms of like, if you're talking about high-end server components, high-end, like that's where you might see people use ratings for stuff like that. Uh, most people don't need it for more than more than that. So okay, so I'm I'm kind of used to that idea from like music components. Yes. You want a uh, I can't remember the name of it right off the bat, but it's basically like a constant flow, power flow kind of thing where yep. even if it power surges, there's enough battery in like the bank to keep this the flow going. Is that something similar or? 
Are we talking about completely different? Well, things? no. I mean, yes. We're not. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not necessarily like in a lot of things with audio components. It's also about like uh, shielding on the cables, all sorts. Of, so it's like all in all, you're not getting noise, and so you're getting the purest of the signal. Some of that has to do with some. Some of that is part of that in terms of the the thoroughness of the stuff that goes through the the, the power rails, etc. Um, but most of what people care about is really about the efficiency, and so efficiency is the is more the thing in terms of. And that's also why when you get like a 3080, you should really run it a thousand because a lot of times it's like even though a 3080 can run at 850 watts, you uh, even the, with those those efficiency ratings for power supplies, they actually aren't at 100 percent load. They're actually more efficient at 50, at 60 to 80 percent. And so there's a bunch of stuff that kind of goes into it, and that's where they expect us people like us to sit there and be like, hey. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, tell you know, tell me you know, YouTuber or whatever it was, what I'm actually supposed to do here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to hand you a cable back here. Okay. You're going to take that cable and you're going to plug that into your big purple. Yeah, it should be just you should be able to just plug it in. I hope I ran, ran it that way. If we can. Yeah, I, I really kind of sunk it in there. Uh, I'm assuming I have it the right direction. That's I like gold. I like gold. That's what somebody said. They're like, they're like, they're, they're just getting, because I like gold. That's why I got gold. Uh, wow. Can I put, put it down real quick? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, because I've got it the right direction, don't I? Yeah, sometimes it's going to be a little hard to kind of, put, I just went in very nicely after that. Okay. I just had to look. <laughs> yep. I just had to, it, sometimes it's just, you need the light. Okay, next up. I'm going to hand you this one. This is your CPU cable. And this one is going to go all the way up here, over here to this one. Done. All right, cool. Now I'm going to hand you this one. And this one is going to plug into the back of your, your hard drive right over here. And there should be, a, you should, it's like a little L. Yes. You're going to plug that right into that. We're good. Okay, and then there's also back here this little, Power. not this one, this one. That one's going to go next to it. For the information. Yep. Okay, uh, so there, that takes care of your drive. I actually put it in. <laughs> Give me a second. I got it. I was trying to, it, I, I didn't realize it went to L shape, so I was trying to put it in from the side. Okay, and then this one, we're going to plug in right here. This is your GPU. Okay. Plug that in right there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put in our, we're going to kind of, I'm going to pull all your cables kind of taut okay. here so we can just see what it is. So this is your, and this will be for your SSD. Your SSD will have run like right up here. Okay. So we're going to take your other little cable here, and then it'll just kind of be out on the edge. So if you want to plug this in, this will be the other thing you plug into it. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to put that, set it right here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is just clean this up, and then we're going to put the shroud back on is the hope. I mean, not the hope. It, we are going to put the shroud. I, there's no hoping. I don't know why I said hope. Hope was not the right you, word. You made me nervous there yeah. for a second. There is no hope there. So here's your extra cable for your, if you ever upgrade, you'll have this down in this thing below. You'll just have to take the shroud off, and then it's down here for you. Okay. Okay. And then this one, we want to make sure you have enough cable to be able to get to it. So I'm probably not going to, I'm probably not going to. Be too crazy on this. I don't want to cable manage some of this stuff because I know that you have some upgrades you're gonna do when you get home. So, okay. There you go. Okay, so we're just gonna make it look nice. We're gonna grab our really long. Don't have very many of these left. Okay. The really long PSU thing. Just we need to get a special order in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a special order in, just to make sure that this is good. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's a good call. I didn't see these. I forgot we have two cables that are down here that you're going to have to come over here and plug in. Okay. There's that one, and there's one more here somewhere. There's that one. <laughs> come on, baby. Where are you? There's that one. Big machine. money, big money. No whammy, no whammy. No whammy. <laughs> wow. That's, that's a... That. My grandmother and I, every summer, we would watch... What is it called? It's called... What's um, the name of that? Oh, my God. And now I just... Press what? your luck. Press your luck. That's right. Okay. Thank you very much. That was about to blow my... I was like, what is the name of this thing? Yeah. She, she always had the game show network on. 
Oh, there's, oh, that's right. I forgot they had a network. I, dude, yeah. I, it's been so long since I've actually watched like TV. Okay, so these right here, you're gonna plug into right here and right, so there's two SATA and you're gonna need to plug them into those two. Okay. <clears throat> Man, I'm glad we saw those now. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? It all, your CPU overheats and then we have to rebuild it all over. But yeah, who's counting? Okay, press your luck. No whimmies, no whimmies, no whimmies. Man, I used to love that show. And then, what was the other one? $10,000 Pyramid? Uh, I like that one too. Yeah, and we used to watch the one where, I cannot remember for the life of me. It reminds me a lot of the Wordle thing that's popular right now. Okay. But it starts with like one word and you're supposed to change one letter each time and come up with a word adjacent to that word and then you keep going down. And I, that was a game show? Yeah, it was, so it was like really you, hard. You would like have the word found at the top, and so you had to change one letter to come up to the word lingo. Yeah. And then you would like the next word would be pound. And then the next word would be like pounce. You know, I, I mean obviously I don't have the show in front of me, but yeah, basically you would change one letter to create a new word every time until you got to the bottom word. Wow, that sounds actually that actually sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> it's like Jeopardy. Like my, I mean my my dad used to, I mean used to love watching Jeopardy, and I'd watch it. And I'd be like, this is like this isn't like entertaining. This is just letting me know how dumb I am, <laughs> or how much I don't know about useless trivia, right? But see, then you watch those shows, and you gain the useless trivia so that you can impress people. I know. No, 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 no. At no point in my career or in my life has anybody ever been like, you know, this was the you know the king of Nigeria in you know the 20 earliest 20th century and you'd be like oh it's blah 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 that's never come up in my life so I'm hoping some point in time some question I got asked except for when it was like a video game category then I was all over it then then I was good but that they never had like video game jeopardy so I don't know they need to have that what do you think no you know, I think with the with how popular video games are coming, I wouldn't be surprised if in the next five, ten years we start to we see... We actually see one? Yeah. No, I, mean, I really wouldn't be shocked. Okay, so this is what I was going to look for. See, this is what I was... I'm glad we... This is why I wanted to do all this before we got too far. Okay. Um, because we actually have a shroud place for this. So we'll put this through. So this is actually going to go through here. Okay, now we gotta put this, so we're just gonna kinda push this stuff under, because I have a lot of just cables ready for you when you upgrade, and then we'll have to put those out. Okay, so this is gonna go right here, and then we're gonna have to guide it from the other side. You should see a little rail here. On that side, do you see a little, should, looks like that's on. I, I, yep, I got okay. this, and I see the screw. Okay, now this one, I need to figure this out here. And I see where the other screw is for this one, too. I'm trying to hold it in place because it feels like it wants to... Yeah, I think we can actually screw it down now. I don't... Do you have a I screw? I do. I have all the screws right here. Here you go. Oh, God. There you go. Here's your screwdriver. Your, to your, your tool, sir. It's, uh, it's funny. I... Um... So I named my guitar okay. after a, uh, an anime character named Artoria. And she's the representation of King Arthur. So she wields Excalibur as well. So kind of. And she's also blue. So this works out. It's all, it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all coming together. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like all we planned coming together. I wish we did. We didn't. <laughs> that would be pretty rad if we did, but we did not. And now they're calling me weebs. Okay, let me, uh, got to give a little bit more cable to one, give overly cable manage one cable here, unfortunately. Hoping that we can get this, oh, let me just get a little bit of. Now, are, are you giving me an iFixit toolkit? No, uh, no, but uh, you can just talk, reach out to Tomber after the show, anything you need, he will just buy for you, non-shop, <laughs> just Tomber, get you anything you want. That's all it is. Just, you just, he's such a generous guy. Anything you want. Okay. You name it. Okay. <laughs> he specifically loves to give people Corvette CO6s. Ooh. Okay, do you think Corvettes are worth it? Oh, man. You're treading in ter dangerous territory here. Uh, 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 Tom, I, you know what? Honestly, the new mid engine ones are actually pretty rad. Um, I haven't got to drive one yet. Mm -hmm. um, so I can't, I can't say like what the drive experience is. 
trying to see this one cable. I it's one. this one. It's Do this I need one. to hold this over for you? No, I'm just trying to get it. There we go. That's what you need. Little, little, little extra room. That's all it needed. Is Which, after my buddy, my buddy crashed his G8 and then bought a, uh, a C6 Corvette, and I just thought to myself, I don't know, man. I feel like that's a downgrade, honestly. Oh. <laughs> Well, luckily you got your PC already, so Tomber, you don't have to worry about impressing Tomber, but. <laughs> okay, that one's in. Why is it being so pain here? I'm trying to see what this is hitting. It's because we're in, it's kind of insulting Corvettes. It's a Corvette That's guy. what it is. It's like you're making Corvettes, Matt. Oh, I got it twisted. Sorry, guys. No, it's not, makes it hard to see, but at the same time, we got to get this. What is this hitting? Oh, it's that. Don't mind us. We're probably just breaking everything. No, I'm not. <laughs> I feel really bad if we were, but now I'm trying to. Uh, and that's why I'm stuck on this. I feel like I'm hitting something. There. Yeah, it definitely doesn't. I'm just yeah, trying to we're going to have to do the old trick of iPad, iPhone light because <laughs> we just don't have the. It's not, it's not, it isn't there. And it's all the way, oh, oh. It looks like it popped out. It's moving a cable whenever you do that. I don't know if that's important for you to know. It's the, it could be. This is going to be three hours of this stream will be. Whatever this is, I don't know if you can see what I'm moving right now, but this is moving every time you try to Which push one? That, this one right here. Yeah, that's your, yeah, that's the one that we're pushing over. Okay. And I gave that more room. Uh oh, maybe it needs more room. Okay. We just pulled it all the way out. Now it's got all sorts of room. I hope it's nothing where it's like I had to like, I don't, like I have a love-hate relationship with these shrouds mm -hmm. because you just gotta get, like then they'll lock in and everything's fine. Okay, that's, it's this. Everybody, everybody in chat's like, yeah, PSU shrouds aren't worth it, IMO. <laughs> okay, that's, the, there we go. I mean, you had it in there. I just was, you know, if you were worried that maybe it was pressing down on something. No, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about it's not li it's not quite lining up mm -hmm. with this. So the screw on this, if we can push it down, it's like I, I could I could not possibly hit that if you look at it. It needs to go down. This one? Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's was it not is it not the thing is is like the down is like I do not yeah, I am loving this. Right now. Okay, that one is in. Somebody made a mention that maybe we have the panels in in the wrong order. No, the right, the, they're, okay, we can, I mean, let's go and remove this one again real quick and then I'll check. Maybe I have it the right, maybe you're right. Oh, that was just a suggestion from chat. Oh, okay. I caught it. I know we, I know these panels are, I, I'm pretty sure we had them in the right order but I'm gonna check. I know this panel has to be here. Come on, let's go, let's go. Okay. I'm just gonna see if this makes a difference. Okay, that's- You gotta on. go up. Up, oh, where? Uh, and can we go back this way and then in and then push my way and then slide? Yeah, that works. Okay, let's see if this will go on after it. Maybe it is the other way. And, yep, everything lines. Okay, this one moved again though. Good. Okay, there you go. Uh, all right. So we just had them backwards. That makes more sense. Hey, they don't want it to not go the way it's supposed to get done. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> okay, cool. And then you, so you could go and screw those in? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I've go. already got the one in, so I need the two. There you go. We had it backwards. <laughs> we had it backwards. Sorry. But it's in now. Uh, 
Okay, guys, we are about to turn this on. Ooh. Okay. Oh, let me turn this off. <laughs> okay. So now let's go ahead and grab these other two. And you're going to put them there and there. If I need to turn it back, I can. But... There you go. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and then we're just going to put that. Now we just got to put the case together. That's it. Okay, cool. Let's put this down. Oh, <laughs> now it's very heavy. Very heavy. Well, I okay. still got to squat with that thing. So yeah, I you guess. do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> okay, so this is going to go right here. Quite going to line. There we go. Okay, that is not hitting. Okay, good. It's just got to screw down. Okay, cool. You good there? Do you know where we put the screws? The screws are in there. Oh, there. Yeah. Perfect. There we go. Okay, that's that. Fingerprint magnet. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, let's grab the, let's get the, oh, uh, one more. We had four more screws. That's for that part right there. If you want to go over there and grab, put those in. You're right over here. Here's your four screws. Okay. I'll clear up the rest. And then we are done. Man, that build came out super clean, actually. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I was hoping it would go pretty easy, except for the. It was. I think all in all, like it's just like the shroud is always a little bit of a an interest an in, interesting thing, right? Um, going as you kind of work through it, but yeah, it's uh, it looks really good. It's nice and straight, and it's all. I should have one more screw. Oh yeah, no, that's I think it was from, on the GPU. Yeah, no, it was for oh, did you did we not do one in the GPU? Well there was one in the GPU. I thought there was like two of the um, so it might just be one of the things I pulled out. Oh, okay. It was uh yeah, just yeah, I know. I put it back in. So then yeah, yeah it was probably just, is, no, it was that's probably just that. That's for the PSU, yeah, yeah. That's what that's there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's get this back up, put the lid back on, and then we'll turn it on. Oops. Oop. Oh, there you go. Okay, cool. Good job. Okay, this goes on here like so there we go get this out of the way and now we just need to grab the power. the power i got the power okay see i was going for like a he-man or oh. a extra uh, she-ra no oh. what's by by the power of grayskull oh yeah. Yeah, yeah that works yeah so i guess that is he-man yeah okay here we go is this a monster hunter character yeah that's a palamute okay there we go let's go ahead and straighten it up <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Well, they're new for Rise. That's it's the dog version of a Palico. Oh, okay. And you can ride them around and like they're your mount. Oh, uh, you couldn't ride the Palico, but it did. It was a good chef. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's turn this on. If you want to hit the button, what does this button do? It turns Whoa. it on. Look at that. And there we go. We're gonna look at it from like the. Oh man, Ooh. that looks good. Look at me. I'm just so surprised about that plate. Yeah, the plates are cool. Yeah. There it is, guys. Okay, so time for the big peel. And then we can play some Monster Hunter. Ooh. But time for the big peel. Here we go. Let's get this on. Oh, there might be one on the other side. Let's just make sure there's not one on the other side real quick. Is there one on the inside? Nope. nope. Okay, cool. Okay. So this is the big peel. The first... Okay, come on. The first...
appeal of 2022 Mod Monday Season 2. We're we'll probably start from. Let me say, where, where should we start? Should we start from here? Yeah, go start this from, way? We'll do, yeah, we'll do this camera and then he'll start from there and there we go. Okay. Ready? Yep. Oh, that was a good peel. Ooh, Ooh it's sounds. got a good sound. Wow, there we go. Boom, that is a great feel. <laughs> that came out awesome. Well, there it is, guys. We're gonna be jumping into some gameplay in just a few seconds, but let's run through the specs real quick. We got an i9-12900K. We've got a one terabyte NVMe uh, 670p uh, Intel SSD. We've got a, Z a Z690 Asus Tough uh, one, and it looks incredible. Good job, Tuner. There it is, buddy. Okay, so uh, I think we're gonna do for the game. Let's put the let's do the one thing that we said we'd had left real quick. Oh right. Which is uh, he's got to do the curl. So yeah. Oh, God. So we'll do. I thought you were gonna forget. Yeah. No. I. Why would I? We're forget? not curling this. Well, yeah. You're gonna curl it, right? No, dude. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to figure this out in like three hours, dude. It's no, like that's fine. <sighs> goes like that, right? And then then it goes. Does it go around or? Because I know this. This has to go like, yeah, see, that's the thing is like, I think we have it not right. Are you sure? Yeah, because this thing has got to, because I got to, this thing is, I can't, like, see how that, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go the other way. Okay. Do we have it upside down? Yeah, we do. We have it upside down. So it goes the other way. So whatever I just did, do the opposite. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. So we'll do it this way. Okay, so there we go. There we go. It's like they had to think about this, right? Like somebody. Oh wait, do I want to? I don't think you want to twist because this is definitely right. I'm on the I'm on the right side here. Okay. But do so, I want to go over and then back? I think you want to go under and then up. Under oh, and up. No, I don't, it's not working. Either. Okay. Let's try. Let's see what this does. Because then I can go this way. Oh, there you go. Okay. And then it just goes up. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. We got it done. Time for some squats. <laughs> we got it all. Ironed up. It's it's powered, so you can like. You know what? I think. Wait, are we doing it when it's powered? No, well done. Okay, it. please unplug it. You're gonna. I just want to see if he panicked, but he didn't. I just I think that will look better because then they'll both be top oh, okay, side there up. You go. So yeah, the yes, and now they're both up, like that. I think I think that's right. Okay, here we go. We're gonna turn it off for one second. He's got to do his curl, and then no, we're gonna curls. go. curls. Okay, curls. <sighs> There you go. Okay, or lifts, deadlifts, whatever you said. Here we go. Okay. With the with the top. Here we go. Just like we promised. We told them you would do it. Full build. Okay. Ready? Please don't drop it. How many? It. Five. Five? Yeah. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. There we and you go. Know what? Six because I go one more. Okay, six because he goes one more. He's he's always about going above and beyond for the uh, for the people here. Uh, and that is it. Okay, guys. Well, that is it for this one. Uh, we are going to jump into gameplay. So we're going to be break, taking a break for about ten minutes. Uh, we'll be doing the rest of the codes, etc. Uh, super appreciate you guys being here. We will be back in just a few. Talk to you guys later. Bye. So delighted to be here with my co-host, Robitech. 
What is up? I am so excited for an event like this where uh, we get to celebrate everything 12th gen plus awesome PC builds. You're wondering how we got here, what we're doing here. This is the finals of a creator competition. So all of the creators here have been through a rigorous four weeks of competition, which we'll talk a little bit about later, but now they're paired up with PC modders. They're working on building these custom modded PCs. They're going to be just amazing. And at the end of the day, there will be one that will be judged the best. We got Lancelot Dev with uh, Liquid House. Liquid House, uh, much more of an industrial style in terms of what it is. You can see already just the incredibly large build off to uh, their side there that they're gonna basically be building. Then we move over to Aprize who's working with Bluehost Studios. Um, he's, uh, he's more model-esque, a lot of attention to details, a lot of prefab, so uh, I'm really uh, excited to see what comes out of that build. And then you've got Mods by Ben, which like every one of them is like picturesque, like a work of art. I mean, Ma, uh, Ben actually did a build for iJustine and here he's, he's paired with Rogue, uh, who's Apex, and you can see already uh, just the, the pristine nature of his case just there. And then finally we got five up with PC Works or Tim, who uh, is kind of like a, a hybrid of all of them, um, but uh, I heard uh, Porsche paint involved and some other things, so we got some we got some exciting stuff going on from there. Now we're going to head over and talk to a pre right, so and our this? friend from Blue Horse Studios, Ron. Welcome, hello. Hey. How are you guys doing here, today? Great, great. All right, now uh, give us give us a preview. What's going on over here? So we just got our motherboard laid out here. We have Asus's uh, new gen hardware uh, with the Maximus Extreme uh, Z690 motherboard. And of course, Intel's new 12th generation processor. So we're just getting ready, thing, getting things ready to get mocked up and uh, get the, some of the components installed. And uh, yeah, we're really excited about getting this going and uh, showing everybody what we created for a pre today. You got the motherboard. There you go. There, there you go. Very nice. All right, here I come. Right there, okay. All right, here we go. That's a nice looking washer you have there. Though. Yeah, a little color match. Yeah. All right, let me get the other side here and then That's we can let that go. Bit. Can you guys see these washers in here? It's pink. If you had to compare it to like DDR4, like the best of the DDR4, would it be like twice as good or like oh, yeah, something better, than, like way better than that even? Yeah, because there's some frequencies also there for DDR5 is going to be much higher than that. So I'm Higher the frequency, like the more power? Yeah. Well, there you go. Give us a little rundown. Uh, so this is actually an Inwin uh, 925 case. Uh, Inwin was uh, generous enough to send this over for this uh, project with Intel. Um, it is custom painted in a Porsche uh, pink metallic color. Um, and then I have a water jet CNC um, backplate that's uh, chromed in uh, nickel. Yeah. So this is basically a sports car. <laughs> yeah, it's a sports car. <laughs> I It'll love go it. Fast. A little wiggle in there. There you go. Now, right. you're going to swing snug. in those fittings. Snug everyone. Yep. This one's going to go here. Yep. Should be relatively easy right. to start those threads. Yeah, that just went straight in. Yep. But like, whoo, this thing's a unit. Can I show this? Yeah, go ahead. You guys want to see this chat? I don't want to break it, but like, can you see it? This is a part. Hope you can see it. Okay, they put the camera on it. Like, look at this. This is a trick that a carpenter showed me. Because he saw what I he was watching one of my streams before, and he was like, Ben, why are you doing it the old school way? It's like, there's certain brackets they sell this where you can actually chamfer the edge. And he saw my stream and he, showed, he shared that with me and I was pretty excited that That's cool. it was a good tip. Does it make noise? Yeah, it does make noise, so be aware if you guys have headphones on, it is pretty loud. Turn it down. But I'm gonna <laughs> come back, so. Oh, Jesus. That's lining for you. <laughs> <laughs> and we're lining up, All so right. we're good. So um, it might be easier is to hold it like this and then just push it down with your All right, we will get this one I did there it. You yeah, go. we did it. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. So is this going to be your main gaming PC now? So uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm scared. Like, I need to find a way to put it though. Like, I kind of want to put it where so, like stream can see it, because like this is like this is like art chat. So what he's doing is actually putting in a tube in there, and there's a notch on the far corner that will hold the tube in place. So why he actually puts resistance, it'll actually put the tube in its proper position. So just hold that side. So okay. can I grab this? Under so it is, since it's plated, so it has some retention to it. So you can pick it up or what you need to do to... Whoa! This is just bring so it to a cool. Night. 
90? Yeah. So satisfying. Right there. That's good to go. Let it go and be aware this is these are nickel plated tubes of which you're not supposed to do this. Uh -huh. You know, but I found a way to figure this technique out. We I are cutting up doing. yeah, we're cutting up pipe right now for the piece. We haven't <laughs> measured out. This uh, is my first time doing this. Yeah, and so make sure you tighten it again. Yep. And now it is I'm gonna untighten it slightly. I'm just watching this because this is I like I you know again this is I, I love the uh, I love your commentaries like look I just don't want this to pop off and break it. Look at that. <laughs> we got it. We <laughs> have achieved so much. That was so rad. Yes. So you asked if there is lights. Yes, there's lights. So You'll see yeah, that. go ahead and plug oh that in there. God. Oops, wrong way. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. So right now he actually putting the coolant in. So we're waiting until it fills this small reservoir. And then after that, we're actually gonna turn on the computer. So the pump actually turns on and then it'll cycle through. We might have to do this multiple times so we know where the, the computer is actually fully filled. Oh boy. Put that in. to go. Oh, you already have the tubing attached to that also. Yeah, this one at least. I'm gonna see if I can do it this way, but I might have to turn the case around. Gotcha. Oh, that's so sick! Oh, oh my god! Is this the camera? Now we are taking one final look at each of the builds. Okay. We can see them all in their glory. Lancelot Dev 92 Liquid House, Aprise and Blue Horse Studios. Okay. Rogue and mods by Ben. I'm hoping that I'm hoping that. And five up and PC works. I actually know who the winner is. The winner of the Intel Creator Challenge finale, taking home ten thousand dollars, is mods by Ben. Yay! Congratulations to mods by Ben, to Rogue, and to Rogue's girlfriend. Honestly. Yeah, I mean she's a real winner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Ben. I'm sure that you will have lots to say about this amazing build that you did, but from our perspective, just one that actually would look great in both of our offices we talked about. Yes, yes. I think that the, the colors that we saw coming through there, super uh, beautiful, soft, and oh, here they come. Oh, here we that go, we get wow. To get to he's chat getting, with them. We're actually gonna do, he's like doing like the, that walk, right? Like you've the seen champion somebody walk, with the eSport, yes. e -sport, and like here we are, the champion walk. And this one, a mod champion walk. Come on in, you guys. And I think we're gonna need to hand you a microphone yeah. so we can hear what you have to say. Otherwise, you know, only yeah. we will hear you. Yeah, well, well, yeah, so we'll see where this is going from here. But there it is right there, guys, the winners uh, of the uh, the creator. Oh, and here we go. Oh, yes. Ah. Look at this. Nice. Oh, so come on, I've that. always wanted to do one of these. Well, come in close so we can chat with you guys. Yeah. Maybe that you can yeah. hear us on your mics. But uh, Ben, how does this feel to be the winner of the Intel Creator Challenge? It's, I'm pretty grateful. You know, it's like I, I didn't expect to win anything. I just wanted to get the job done. Uh, but it's, I'm grateful that I can actually express my art. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm pretty excited, you know, it's I'm lost for words, basically. I'm sure that there are a lot of PC modders who are watching this and looking at you with aspirations of someday making a build like that or getting to this level. What would you say to them? I would just say, just keep trying. Mm -hmm. You know, no matter, there's a lot of upsets, you know, which I think you learn from your upsets. As an artist, you know, there's gonna be critiques, there's gonna be failures. Uh, but this never stop giving up on what you truly love to do. Everyone with me? So tuck tuck means goodbye basically in my stream. Someone asked to be tucked in once because it was like late at night and I was sure, ending sure. stream. All right, so you can just read a name and just tuck them in. So just read a name and tuck tuck. Jennifer, tuck tuck. Tuck tuck, Jennifer. Tuck tuck, Alma. Tuck tuck, Millionaire. Tuck tuck, Queen. Tuck tuck, JJ Foxy. Tuck tuck, Thanks, Little Mama. Tuck tuck, Queen, but it is myself. And over here, well, I don't actually know where you are on the screen, uh, Turin, but we are in his world now. And I love that I have this Okami dog, <laughs> uh, which makes me happy. So uh, just just a, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the production staff actually let me have his account, and I get to keep it forever now. So uh, that's going to be great. Um, where are we going? We're going to kill a Puke Puke. Yes, we are. Uh, so come over here and talk to this nice lady. Nice lady. Her name is Minto, the hub maiden. Uh, I don't know if, well, I guess I can, I, I should post. So let me, let me, give me a second. Okay, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna let you post. And then we will uh, have you talk to the quest board and you'll be able to pick right. it up. Okay, quest board, respond to join request? Yes. Okay. 
Do I choose what? It says urgent quest? Like, which one? It's... Did I oh, do it? Oh, okay, wait. Maybe back out. There should be another option. Uh, join hub request. Okay. Oh, go away, Puka Puka! Puka Puka! I love this. I love the name. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, and then... Oh, uh, you'll actually want to press, I believe, the center button on your controller. Uh, I'll need a check mark next to your name. Oh, okay, yeah, toggle. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Um, where's ready up? It's not the center button. Oh. Cancel, that's cancel quest, that's right stick. Oh, right trigger, there we go. There we go, okay. Okay, okay, I, sorry, sorry, you haven't played this one, guys. I, you know, and it's weird because I've basically only ever hosted quests for this game. I've never joined one, so I really didn't know if it was different or... So. What's the, what's the, is there a run? Like, uh, oh, I just ate a thing. Okay, that's good. I just drank a potion. Good for me on that one. Yep. Oh, I don't know what B just did. Oh, I'm riding my, I'm riding my dog. <laughs> yeah. A uh, couple different buttons that are important. Holding B will give you, uh, just holding B anywhere while your weapon is sheathed will call the dog to you to ride it. Um, that's important in case, you know, you need to run away. Uh, well, I've got my dog and I'm riding it. Good. Just follow me and uh, I am following you. Yeah, I'm a little bit slower than you because I, I elected to take a cat with me instead of a dog. Uh, travel a little bit slower, but a, you could say that the cat has more utility. Sure, let's go with that. Cat's got more utility, dog hater. <laughs> well, see, they'll buff you. Hey, and it's give a Puke Puke! You... <laughs> How do I get off the dog? Uh, you press, uh... Not potion. <laughs> I think if you just press, okay, uh... Yeah, you got it? X? Okay. Oh, or... oh, hey, Puke Puke. I can't even remember the name of the... Because you're using an Xbox controller and I'm using a PlayStation controller. So. Yeah, we are... We are... A, we are family. Oh, you knocked it down already. Yeah, uh, SNS is really good at just getting that first KO because it uses uh, a move called Shuyugeki that basically punches the monster. The, don't we want to take off its tail? Uh, you can if you want to go the slow way. Oh, okay. Well, fine. I see what it is. You just judge me all the time. Well, maybe Heart's if you broken. said hi at the airport. <laughs> no kidding. God, I love this game. Puke Puke! Oh, no, no, leave me alone, Puke Puke. No, no, no. You go after that guy. He's heavy. Oh. Oh, you brought the long sword. I don't know what I brought. It was, it was all Yuki's fault. If I'm terrible, it's his fault. I'd use the gun lance. I'm a man of culture, I see. Oh, look out! Oh, poison! I didn't get hit by it, though. Good. Uh, it's a slower po uh, poison, so it's not urgent that you get rid of it. Uh, you'll live. I'll Even live. I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, God! Oh, we got another one. We got something else. What is that one? That looks like a... Oh, wow, that's got a lot of fur. Yeah, that's a Bishaten. It's a monkey that throws fruit at you. Man, you know, so like essentially it's just a normal monkey. Yeah. Wait, what are you, you're riding the Puke Puke? Yeah. So that's the new mechanic that was introduced in Rise is, it should have been Monster Hunter Ride, honestly, because you can ride the monsters and make them fight each other. Right now I'm making this Bishaten fight the Puke Puke. Way to go. I'm just, I'm just basically being dumb. I'm just like running around. Well, I missed it. Oh, we got yeah, some I'm getting, I'm getting beat up a little bit. I used to love watching, oh, it's, it's knocked down. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna knock it down a couple more times. It's gonna move, so. What, I don't, what are the other, like there's, there used to be other attacks, strong attacks. I just feel like I'm doing the same attack. Um, so you'll need to build your spirit gauge with long sword and uh, get multiple levels of spirit gauge up to red and then you'll consume your spirit gauge for a really powerful move. Oh, that's uh, not the Puke Puke. You also have uh, some really cool EI 
slashes, I believe is what they're called. Um, where you kind of like sheathe your weapon and then teleport behind the monster. And really neat stuff, actually. I just remember with the gun lance, right? It was all about, oh, don't hit you. Okay. Like it was all about hitting rhythms and there was a bunch of stuff that I remember about it. Oh, oh ow! <laughs> Why are you kissing me that way? All right, is that a healing mist? Uh, no, it is a wire bug mist that gives you little extra bugs at the uh. bottom. No, see, a lot of people love Puke Puke because in Monster Hunter World, when you did the Witcher quest, he gave you an, a very rare attack deco. How do you pick up stuff? It's, a, is, it's not... Um... Sir? Or, uh, A? Oh, B. B. B? B, B, B. I can never remember with the Xbox controller. <laughs> okay. You went left, right? Uh, if you can see my name, follow yeah, me. Yeah, I can see your name. Yeah, I can see your name. Yeah, I'm heading to the I'm heading to the guy. You found the Puke Puke again. Oh, that did not hit where I wanted to hit. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It feels like there should be more. Longsword honestly is a very kind of hit your uh, meter and then spam one move. So uh, my meter is. Your meter is uh, blue. The next code, guys, I've just been told what it is. I couldn't hear at the time what the next code is. Coming up. Dog. Dog. Really? Next, what? what's wrong with that? It's because you're a cat person? Doesn't have enough utility for you? Well, that's the code. <laughs> I just thought it'd be Palamute or something, you know, but it's just, uh, it's just dog. It's just dog. It'd be like if I said cat uh. instead of Palico. But so for cutting off this monster's tail, you can get rid of the uh, the poison, which is really nice, but. Yeah, I'm trying to bring it. Okay, I ate a potion. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm trying to figure out how to unpoison myself. Oh, okay, the potion did it. Okay. Uh, it'll naturally fall off, but you're looking for the antidote, which is a blue. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to, so it's left bumper to, to bring up the shift. It's just how do you actually shift after you've hit left bumper? Uh, you'll use the left and right buttons on the side. Oh. It really helps if you play claw, which not a lot of people do. I played double claw. If I could show people right now, I used to have a hand cam when I played, but my index fingers are put pretty much pressing all of my top buttons right now. Whoa, 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 leave me alone. There you go, get down. Shock trap. Hey, we did it. Explosive Puka finish. Puka. Yeah, it's funny, you were, you were saying, okay, so each hunt takes about 30 minutes, right? And I said, uh, no. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna carve it up now. Man, I love this game. Yeah, I uh, I was really taken aback by just how much I, I don't think I've ever liked a game as much as I've liked uh, Monster Hunter. I mean, I just really loved playing the first one. I mean, Monster Hunter World anyway, and it's just, it's such a great game. I guess the problem is, is like, there's a lot I just don't remember. And so it's like, it's one thing when you're like, you wanna do more and it, I know there's more to do. I just don't know what the, you need the buttons too. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to even think what you kind of want to do is you want to attack enough times that the meter on the side gets a red outline on it. And then you pretty much want to hit R2 until you do a, uh, like a bunch of combos and then it'll it. increase the level of your charge. And then you basically rinse and repeat that until you have red at which point you'll do, I think, like R2 plus triangle. I cannot remember what Helm Splitter. Yeah, it's just, I, I think it, it like, it would have been, like I would have liked to have played this a little bit before, you know what I mean? So that way you could, you could uh, like you can actually show. But right now I'm really good at pressing right trigger and swiping. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got, we got time for another, another hunt. What are we doing? Uh, okay, so we have a couple of choices here. Uh, we can do 
the flagship monster, we can do Magna Malo. Oh, okay. Uh, we can do a fan favorite Rajang, who's the big monkey. Or okay. if you want to try something that you were really excited about, Toby Kadachi. Why don't we do? Why don't we do uh, the? Let's do the 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 um, main one for the game. Because I mean, we got to show that off anyway. This will be very interesting. I wish you luck. Okay. Well, that's fun then. Do I need to accept it? Uh, yeah, you'll go in and do the exact same thing. Oh, jeez. Well, see, the thing about it is, is Rise was pretty much tailor-made for Longsword. Uh, so you've got probably the best weapon in the game, objectively, or at least subjectively to a lot of people to the point where you could claim objectively. Okay. Uh, you just got to learn how to use it. There we go. Do I need to eat? Usually we have to eat for stats. Do you not do that anymore before hunts? Yeah, you, you, you still eat. Yeah, I ate... Uh, for us, uh, you know, like healing buffs and attack buffs and stuff. Hey, I don't need it. I'm fine. Please eat. You'll have lower health. You're gonna get killed. <laughs> I don't even. I can't sit down here. Uh, maybe you already oh. ate. Oh, I know. I know why. Okay. Oh, you were ready. Because I was. I was ready. So I should eat a meal. I'm gonna do pay with money. I'm gonna order the usual. What do I want? The bunny dango or the usual? Um. So you can create your. Own. I would just go for the usual, I guess. Whoever had the account probably has a, a couple saved. Oh yeah, there we go. We're gonna do this one. Cats making food. How is this not? And the song. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a there's kind of a culture of you don't skip the song, or it's bad luck for your hunt. But I skipped the one in here. There's a there's a second one outside that uh, has a different animation that's way better. Uh, I'll skip I the one in here. I just remember the I just remember the one for the I remember the one the amount of food we ate in Monster Hunter World though. So much more food. Like this is like Monster Hunter Rise is like Monster Hunter on a diet. <laughs> okay, good. We're we're good to go. Okay, I'm, I've I've eaten. I got my sh my thing. Here we go. Uh, again, I wish you luck. This is going to be over in five minutes. It's going to be fine. Okay. Uh, press start and then... Where do you want me to go? Y. Uh, just see if you have, like, the mini-map and then what's the leftmost button? I don't remember if that's X or Y. Uh, X. But So that should bring up a map. Does that bring up a map for you? I see a map. Uh, it's like, uh, like a giant map. It's the whole thing is a map. Oh, yes, it does. Okay, so press the fast travel button. Do you have sub camp one? I do. Okay, head to sub camp, sub camp one. That, that'll okay. bring us way closer. Whoa, I just shot off like a slingshot. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm on uh, my... Whoa, there's a monster down there right now. Yeah. He is not what we want, but hopefully we can get him to fight. You, oh, you're down there, okay. Yep, yep, yep. This dog has like special paws that let run off of a, whoa, please don't hurt yourself, okay. Okami's fine, everybody, don't worry, Okami's fine. There's always that one moment in every game where you go, I wonder if this game has fall damage while you're falling off something. Yeah. Okay, is this what we're fighting? No, we oh. are fighting, or are you over here next to me? Oh yeah, yeah you, right. you are. Is this what we're fighting? Yes. Whoa, this thing is cool looking. So you were talking, you see how I was talking about like how purple would be great? Yeah, no kidding. Lord, dude, this. Yeah, he's, he's purple, purple. Yeah, he's, uh, here, I'm just gonna uh, keep watching. Oh, oh, okay, here he's like. <laughs> Let oh, me yeah, just drag him, him over to you real quick. I'm out, I'm out, I hit him once. See, now, so my sword is blue. Okay. No, I can't tell if you're looking at sharpness or if you're looking at your gauge. Oh, wow, I'm looking at my face. I'm looking at the little, there's like a blue, green, yellow, red. Yeah, so that's sharpness. Okay, oh, okay, where's it? Okay, so that's not the gauge. Yeah. Uh, as you, there should be a second gauge that's like a second sword. Like, yeah, yeah, I see that, okay. And uh, that you are going to try to get a red outline on. 
And okay. then once that red outline is full, then you're going to press R2 until you uh, basically complete a combo. Got it. He ran He ran away already? Yeah. Oh, jerk face. Now, I'm not a longsword guy, so I could actually be wrong, but that's how I remember oh, okay. it. How do I jump up? You ran, you ran up there. Uh, there's a little flower. You can see the glowing green. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, the verticality of these games, <laughs> it's really interesting just how open they've become, especially if you're an old world player where they um, just straight up didn't. You had to load into every zone. <laughs> Okay, so I, I wait. I don't see it on this. I don't see the little bug on this one. Oh, it's over here. There's a little bug that shot you up, right? Uh, yeah. So if you press L2 with your weapon sheathed and then press triangle. Okay. Uh, you should like launch up. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Okay. You good? I think so. I'm still going to where you're at. Okay. If I need to come back, I can I can go grab you. I'm right in Akami. I think he's trying to come to you right now, actually. Hey, good for you, buddy. Let's go. Uh yeah. I don't know what he's doing. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Okay, that did not work. Okay. Are you winning? Uh, we are... We had a couple of good hits then, actually. There was a, a really good Shugeki open that, that I got. Mostly just concerned if you're... Because I'm still not seeing you. <laughs> I'm fine. Everything's fine. Oh, I got the wire bug. That helped a lot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm here. Everything's fine. Welcome back. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hit him. Oh, he gets up right when I get there. Oh, that. Oh, I see. Okay, and then it goes down if I don't hit. Oh, okay. That's not very nice. <laughs> oh, ow. Yeah, he's got some really fancy moves. Oh, I just got fainted. We're fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. We got 200,000 more attempts. Not. <laughs> uh, I'm not. Oh, I got a, I got a fast travel again. I, I know if you were on Gunlands, this thing would already be dead. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to, yeah. Okay, so what do I, how do I open the menu again to fast travel? Uh, start and then X, there it is, I guess okay. is what that was. Yep, that's right. Okay, good. Yeah. I thought it was just going to be like, this is like the big bad, huh? Like the monster yeah, this refinery? Is, this is the flagship. This is the big guy. Oh, I think I thought flagship is in like, hey, yeah, this is just going to be the cool one that you fight. No, this is like flagship is in like, I'm going to freaking die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for for an example, uh, you played World, but Nergigante was oh, yeah, uh, yeah. the flagship. So that level of monster. Yeah, yeah this is totally doable by Robotech. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. I mean... It's two player scaling, so it's uh I can I can help a little bit more. I'm trying to see like why this isn't like it's like I, I, I saw like a at one point in time like a like a, a bug or something like that that I was able to fly up with. Yeah, there's a couple of them. And that that's what got me to you. Uh we're back down now where we originally were. Oh. Oh, you're over there. Oh, okay. Well, I should go over there then. I should go to where you are. 
Oh, there you are. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? It's going good. It's good to see you. Hi. Is uh, did this is this character leveled enough to actually kill this thing? Like, I'm, I'm yeah. Like, I'm like... Oh great. You're HR 100, so you're you're really far into the game. We could play Battle Strikes right now if you wanted to. Okay, okay. So I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not in a bad spot. Okay. Yeah. It's just I don't know. You know I take my time. I'm not really worried about it. It's uh, so the one of the things that's harder about playing multiplayer is that when the monster is in multiplayer, it scales yeah. its HP. Yeah, and, it's harder. Uh, which, which isn't an issue, because if we're both attacking it, then theoretically, it doesn't scale harder than two player. So right. we theoretically do more damage than it's increasing its health. But the thing about it is, is part breaks, each of its parts has also increased in HP. So if I'm focusing the arm, now it's harder for me to get trips uh, so multiplayer hunts, unless you're doing something like really coordinated, focused runs, it's like, yeah, just hit it until it's dead. I just keep, man, it's just like I just, I can't even get near this stupid thing. He's, he's flashy. I'm going to get killed. <laughs> I'm just going to drink all of Yuki's potions. <laughs> Yeah, he is one of the more interesting looking kind of. Okay, I got mega potions if I need them. Oh, now I'm sharpening it. That for no reason. That's good. I'm extra sharp now. <laughs> oh, you're riding him. Yep, I'm going to get him dropped down here in a second. So I'm going to try to keep him in a similar location so you're able to follow up. Actually hit him. Yep, coming down. Hey, let's go get him. I don't He's know down for like two chin. I don't know if we got a KO yet. Yeah, there it is. Man, it's like my thing that little that little thing is not going up very fast. I feel like there's something I'm missing. Longsword is one of those weapons that has a couple of extra things about it. When I recommend a weapon to somebody, I usually recommend a hammer. Just because it's very simple. Right. But I think we're doing pretty okay. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I know we only have 50 minutes. I, I called his bluff, and he wasn't bluffing. <laughs> That's essentially what just happened there. <laughs> There's a couple of the weapons here uh, where they feel a lot better when you have three bugs versus if you have two bugs. And um, Sword and Shield's one of those that really feels like it wants to have two bu or three bugs all the time. And uh, I ate it there because I didn't have three bugs. There we go, now I do. Oh, come back. Ow. Ah, you little would. Es little explosive. It's like pretty much don't stand in the fail most of the time. Ah. <laughs> oh, you fainted. Yeah, I got greedy. I was using bugs that I didn't have. Oh, Lord. We're fine. Oh, Lord. I don't think we're fine. We're fine. You gotta believe. Uh, I'm believing something. Ow. Nerka Gante. I would have, I should have gone. I should have done. Oh, he's got me scared. 
I mean, you told me, man. You said I want to do the flagship. Yeah, I, I was thinking like, yeah, I, yeah. I I was wrong. I was wrong. No, 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 no. Oh, that's it. <laughs> it's over, isn't it? <laughs> wow, that guy wrecked me. Okay. Oh, I got a, I got an orb. Okay, so guys. We're going to do one more code, and then we're going to end it. Uh, last code is Arc Tempered. Arc Tempered. So that is going to be the last code for the night. Don't forget, we have those awesome Core i5s. we got those Core i7s. Uh, we've got uh, those, those other V uh, from V1 Tech, um, those, uh, the backplate, and then those cool arts uh, as well. So make sure you get your entries in on that. Okay, so question for you. Obviously, okay. tuner. If people want to tune in and find you, tune in and find you. <laughs> uh, how do they do that? Where do they find you? Uh, I'm over at twitch.tv forward slash tuner. I stream almost every day. Try around noon PST to like four, five hours or so. And uh, also got a YouTube, Gin Jinx and Tuna. It's pretty much my, uh, my socials. Okay. And this is Roby Tech, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We will be back with future episodes, but what a heck of a way to kick it off, guys. Uh, super appreciate all of you guys, and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode.